El otro está acá. That's funny. I literally just start the stream and I get an important message. <laughs> like, it couldn't have been. Hold on. Uh, yeah, anyway, I just, got, just saw, saw something in a Discord chat. But anyway, yeah, that couldn't have been a worse. I, I wouldn't really say worse. It's not really bad timing per se, but the very instant, like, the time could have been perfect. I turn on the stream and I get a message. Let's see. Oh god. There we go. Well, in the meanwhile, while I respond to that, let me just get a nice close up render of Kane and take that as a screenshot to post on the Discord server. But yeah, hello everyone and welcome. Saga Gi Ash Srito. How's everyone doing? Right, let me just go ahead then and take a picture of that. We will just yoink that into GIMP quickly. Hello, Astral. Good to see you as well, man. Ah, oh, goddammit, my chair is doing chair things. There we go. Right, let me just quickly then grab, uh, put that to the side, and let me just yoink that on top. Do that. Cool, good enough. Merge down. Nice and easy. And then we'll just post on Discord that our stream, we are back and it is time to continue coloring in the, the big, awesome, fluffy dragon bird man, awesome hook car door. <laughs> that escalated. <laughs> right, let's just go ahead then and grab the link. Yoink that over there. I guess I might as well put it on Twitter, actually. I've not been uh, advertising on Twitter for a while, since I don't like spamming every single day. But I did see a couple of people miss the last stream and a little bit uh, unhappy about it, so... I will go ahead and do the same thing here. Let's see, commissions. Commissions open, and we're good to go. Why, hello. Right, I think we're good. Uh, yeah. I think we are all good. Double check, Kev. Yep, all good. Sweet. So, how is everyone then? Saga, you're doing alright? You're a little bit sick? Oh no, I hope you feel better. And Astral, you're dying, got carried too much yesterday at your birthday? <laughs> oh, mate. Well, I hope you had a fantastic birthday, though. Oh, bless you. I hope you had a good birthday. That being the important part. Let me just zoom into my drawing or my uh, reference. Hello, Maeva, Myrtle, Kitsune, Tim, Jenna. My chair, I, guys, I swear to God, my chair won't stop moving. You know how you get like a uh, door stops? So you like, you shove that little uh, thingy in front of the door so that it stops um, like just blowing open. I need a same thing for my goddamn chair right now. <laughs> it's driving me mental. Oh dear. Has guess you forgot to do uni work tonight? Oh no! Well, Has, it's good that you're gonna go do it quickly now. Better now than you know, telling yourself to do it in the morning and then having a rush in the morning. Oh, Luna, that was a lovely growl. She snorted. I don't know if you guys heard that. That cat outright snorted. <laughs> I love Luna. I love the cat. So weird. Meg, how do the how do the are you lot doing here and not in this specific, specific revolution to reset the cycle, the cycle, the cycle, of fuck? What? <laughs> hey, Mac! And there's Oliver in the background. <laughs> uh, Tri Pringles can lid under one wheel. Oh, wait. Oh, actually, maybe that's a really good idea. Oh, but I just chucked them all away, though. Hold on. Do I have, like, a spare? I've got. <gasps> Oh, two. No, wait, actually, I've still got Pringles in it. <laughs> I probably sound like a right fat fuck. <laughs> like, ooh, where's my Pringle tins? That is actually a really good idea, though. Let me... I've got one. 
I got one lit, so let me just go ahead then and you guys get all the lovely background sound. And can I just like shove it there? No. I want the center wheel, the center one's a good one. That's the one you want to stabilize. Well, we'll see how that does. <laughs> right, that's actually a really good idea though. Thank you, Maver. I'll see how that works out. Time to hit a whole thing of Pringles then. I fucking love Pringles. They take me like a week to finish though. But that's what I like about Pringles is that unlike, unlike a packet of crisps or a packet of chips, whatever you want to call it, you kind of like have to finish the entire packet in one go. A tin of Pringles, it's there, it's contained. You just like have a little bit every now and then, you know, whenever you fancy it. Tend to last me about a week or two, normally a week, but sometimes two. Oh, gee, that's a lot of studying. Oh, mate. Well, I hope that uh, obviously is good to study. Absolutely good to study. But I do hope that you give yourself some time off every now and then as well. Always good to maintain that balance, isn't it? And Amber, no, Dawn, welcome. Hey, great timing. <laughs> That's entirely fair, Jenna. Right then, so. Hello, Oliver. Ali Lali. Okay, he's happy boy. Oliver. Oh god, it's got the zoomies. <laughs> so Oliver just jumped onto the cat fort, right? Onto the um <laughs> onto the circular platform. And he keeps on like he would chill for a moment, just like looking and relaxing, and then he'll just suddenly spaz out or like do a flip and rotate on the circular platform. I've had to rotate it, right? Because imagine imagine a circular platform, right? And half of it's got a wall. So like it's like half a, like a fraction of a cylinder kind of thing going on. I've had to rotate it so that the open part of it, where it has no walls, is pressed against the corners of the wall. That way you surround on all sides, because whenever he like has a zoomies on his platform, he will fall off. <laughs> I've seen it happen so many times where he will just roll and roll off the entire thing. It's like, it's like two meters tall as well. But like I said though, I, I rotated the wall so now like every side of the circle is covered. <laughs> so he doesn't fall over anymore. Bless him. Yeah, exactly. Has regular breaks while studying. Absolutely. But at the same time, so I know a lot of other people struggle with this. At the same time, don't take too many breaks just because you can. It's obviously very good to study. Just don't study 24-7. You know, study like... 22-7. <laughs> you know what I mean. Hello, Yutaki. Love to see you. You're doing very well, thank you. How about yourself? And the last thing we did before I hopped off yesterday was... We're working on the eyes, aren't we? Let's go ahead then and just get all of my outfits back. Yeah, sorry about the late start, by the way. I had to deal with a couple of important things. Mostly tax forms. Ooh. Gotta love taxes. Right, and then we'll just save it in the right location. I also got to finish off and finalise the last two commissions yesterday. So, that I was very happy with. They're all done and dusted, the buyers are happy, all sent off and all finished up. One of the cats is massive, like at a healthy weight, he is £17. If he jumps on the cat gym the wrong way, it falls over. Oh no! And uh, Windows update, you will not reboot my PC. Snoot. Okay then. I was going to say. Gee. Fair. Well, like I said, yeah, I do hope that you're able to have a break every now and then. Right. So then, let me grab... Yes, I was doing the eyes. So, what more can I... Let me quickly look up. Uh, what is, like, a good eye reference to look up? Let's just look up at animal eyes. I feel like something nice and rich. Something very nice and colourful. I guess owl eyes, actually. Oh, owl eyes are very colourful. Or a iguana. <gasps> Pinkie Pie, hello. Welcome. Let's see. There's a whole bunch of different I just saw. Wow, if you Google uh, if you Google animal eyes, you get like really good results. I find like quite often 
when you Google anything animal related, Google is just shit and gives you cars or motorbikes or really gross graphic things. But no, this is actually really good. Oh god, that's cursed. Otherwise, it's really nice. Let's try that one. Yeah, let's just do that one for a bit then. So, if I grab that, do that, do that gradient, and I. Oh, actually, that's a weird color. That's green. There we go, black. Oh, we don't want black actually. We're sort of like a really dark brown. Really dark red. Grab that gradient. Good. Yeah, they are really cool, aren't they, three toes? It's actually like a surprisingly good um, search result. Has. And uh, hello, Queen. Welcome. You've not missed anything yet. I've I had to start a little bit late today. In other words, you came just in time. Let's see. Let's make that nice and sharp. Hmm. Let me think. There we go. That's more like it. This is like very low resolution at the moment. The eyes, or at least you know, they could be better. I should say, they could be uh, like more crisp. If I... What if I grab this? That's a bit weird. What if I grab this? Mm, that's also kind of weird. What if I grab this? That actually works what I want. Oh, you finished Nagakuga? Nice. Try to search dragon on Google and give you some program called Dragon. Ugh, what a surprise, eh? It's kind of sad, really. Like, I, I know, like, I know it's such like a silly little thing to complain about, but I always find it a little bit sad about how when you search, search like lion, right? Everyone knows what a lion is. It's a cool big, you know, it's a cool big mammal cat, whatever you want to call it. It's like the thing, it's one of the first things you learn as a kid. Yet, you search on Google, let's search lion on Google. Okay, bad example. Let's try Cobra. <laughs> okay, wait, wait, hold on. This used to be really bad. Let's try Raptor. There we go. Search Raptor. And what do you get? You get trucks. Okay, it used to happen with Cobra and Lion, in my defense. It used to be like a really, like, really, really common. But yeah, you search Raptor and you just get like a ton of um, trucks. Not Raptors, dinosaurs, birds. It's like, damn you, game. Google, I want. Me dinos, me animals, not bloody cars and trucks and jaguar. Yeah, jaguar, exactly. Yes, jaguar. That's an extremely good example, actually. You bought Iceborne, but you never played it. You should. Iceborne's great. Yeah, Bull's probably another one. I completely agree. Hydra, wait, Hydra, you get certain brands of mouse. Really? I can kind of see that, actually. Search Bumblebee. Wait, Bumblebee? Hold on, let's try that one. Oh, that's going to be the Mech Warrior, right? Mech Warrior? No, the Mech. Yeah, it is. Transformer. That's what it's called. <laughs> I was thinking of a different game entirely, but you get what I'm... You know, it's, it's still a Mech. <laughs> Hello, Zara the Wolf Boy. Welcome, and thank you for the follow. Welcome. Right, let me grab. So yeah, like I was saying then, actually searching up animal eyes gives some like surprisingly good references. Good results. Oh, that's entirely fair then, Queen. Right, so it's probably really subtle, but what I'm trying to do right now is just like add a bit of uh, like different levels of um, colors in the eyes. So you can see like, I don't know like how well it appears on stream, but the orange or yellow parts. I'm just like adding in a couple of little flecks and specks here and there. They go like that. I want some dark ones as well, so maybe around the sides. Realism, you think a realism was too much? You love bright colours? That's entirely fair. I get that, actually. I can kind of see that. So I did notice how, like, between uh, World and Rise, they're, like, very, very different styles. For me, I prefer the more, uh, well, <laughs> I'm a glutton for, uh, you know, 
more, not necessarily realistic games, but heavier games that I can run on my PC. It's like, it's a bit of a weird, like, egotistical feeling, I guess. So when I saw Rise, like, so different to World, I was a little bit like, oh, this is a bit strange. But I think it's, like, a lot more down to roots, isn't it? It looks a lot more like how I originally used to, I think. Let's see, how's that part of the eye look like? I quite like that, actually. And, Sarito, thank you, mate. I'm really glad that you think so. Thank you very much. I love what I do. I have a lot of fun doing this. And I find eyes in particular, like, because eyes are just so... Eyes are both really fun and really intimidating, because on the one hand, there's so much going on, you know, there's so many, like, depths of just colour and detail and... It can be like really confusing and overloading to or overwhelming to try to get that effect. But at the same time, it means that you can just keep on throwing in like lots and lots and lots of alphas, colored shades and just have fun with it. Gi? Becca, gi. Where's the top? J Bruh. <laughs> the top hat. God damn it. Ah, so my eye. Give me a sec. Oh, ironic, I'm drawing an eye and something in my eye. Ah! Oh, that was sudden. What am I being messaged for? Hold on. Wait, hold on, I gotta check something on Discord real quick. Uh, what just happened here then? Well, my left eye is going crazy. <laughs> And just while I'm looking at that, I'll just let you guys see the rest of the face for those who are like just tuning in now for the first time. There is something I kind of just want to look at. Right, oh, Annie! Hello there, Annie! <laughs> Thank you for the 27 month resub. I'll just respond, reply to something in, um, in the WoW Discord. <laughs> and Kappa Boats, thank you for the follow as well. Gee, hydrate, and I shall. So, Rise has got a nice blend of Monster Hunter World graphics and details with the old school colours and uniqueness. I see. I really gotta look more into the game. I've been saying like a little bit every now and then. Right? I've been seeing like a bit of a bit of playthrough here and there, but like you know, like I mentioned before, because originally, like at the beginning, no one knew if it'd be available on PC. I kind of just tuned out since I don't have a Switch. There's a habit I have, right? If I know I can't have the thing, I'm not going to bother torturing myself for the thing. If that makes sense. And Flammer as well, thank you for the follow too. Right, there we go. I think I'm done with Discord for now. Right then, so Capricorn has said Rise will be coming to PC in early 2022. Right, I see. Yeah, that's what I heard as well. Or at least I, I heard people saying that they said it was going to happen, you know, like eventually. Uh, apparently it was rumoured from the very beginning. Once again, I never really kept track because, you know, again, never thought I'd really get a chance to, so I didn't really look at any news until people told me. And I thought, oh yeah, by the way, it is coming to PC. And yes, that is Oliver you hear in the background. If you're hearing like a bit of a that, that's Oliver. Right then. That's looking pretty damn cool so far. I like that. Yeah, Srito, Rise is Monster Hunter Rise. As Guy said there, the newest installment to the series. Yeah. 
And for what it's worth, for people who might not actually know this, uh, World is the only Monster Hunter game I've played. You know, PC Masteries. <laughs> I, well, also that I only really have, I've got, I've got the Xbox, um, Xbox One, but I only really play PC. So that was like the first time I actually, you know, looked, looked into Monster Hunters when World was a thing. Let's see. I just want to make the eyes sharper and crisper. So when I first did the eyes, it was a much lower resolution, the um, sphere, so it had like a lot less polygons, which is why some parts look a bit blurry. But fortunately, all it really takes to fix that is just to go over with a much harsher brush stroke in high resolution. And now I want like a proper black color and we'll just do like it again, like a little bit like that, for example. And I'm just checking this out again quickly because it was like a bit of an urgent chat. <laughs> right. The biggest relief was that they went back to the old uh, deco to the old decoration systems, so no more farming decos. Oh really? Oh okay. I've, I've actually got no idea what the old system even is like. That's good to hear though, as long as people enjoy it. Thank you, Jenna. Thank you very much. I think so. If I go ahead and just look up some other references for eyes, uh, let's see. Because Kane has a like a slit for his eyes, like a cat's eyes. But before I do that, you know, that's like kind of the finishing touch. We'll just make sure I've got everything else I want in place. And I think I do actually. So I'm gonna go ahead then and start doing that now. For that, I need a black. Now, oh, okay, I was just about to say I suck at doing slits and I may have just done it in the first try. It looks, it looks okay like that. It looks a little bit derpy, a little bit, you know, boss-eyed. Okay, yeah, I'm not quite happy with that. But like I said, though, I do find doing a uh, cat's eye slits like quite challenging. That's better. That looks more like it's looking ahead at you. Dragon eyes. Let's look up dragon eyes. Ooh, those are good results, actually. Oh, yeah, they're very good results. Thank you. Let's see, then. I can work with this. So, let's just do that, then. We'll get that coloured in. I think you can still hear Oliver in the background, can't you? <laughs> okay, I, I do quite like how that looks. It looks slightly boss-eyed, a little bit like they're looking apart, but I think for the most part, it's quite okay, actually. Especially if you look at literally any other angle like that, I think that looks perfectly fine. Uh, the teeth are terrifying because they're black. <laughs> I've not coloured them in yet. There you go. Yeah, that looks good to me. I like that. I'm happy with that. I'd say if anything, I could just get away with making them just slightly more forward, like that. Good queen, I'm glad. The old system was that you farmed for charms and you can make decos from the smithy and I hated that in one because you had to find beef up level dragons to get even an attack deco. Where in the previous games you could just make it. Oh, right, 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 I understand, I see. Okay, yeah, so if it used to be easy and I made it a lot harder or um, a bit more challenging for people to get, yeah, I can definitely see how that would have like a bit of a bit of an undesirable appeal. I personally like that, but then again, though, I don't have the previous... Um, I've not played the previous games, have I? So I guess... Take my opinion with a pinch of salt. that look that's interesting just trying something trying something new this music is so happy I love it Why 
I'll just make that all a little bit clean or more clean even. Well, I did play Monster to Try. Uh, I wouldn't recommend pre-5 gen games to newcomers. It's fun for me, but you've got to have a very specific taste to really enjoy them. Ah, I see. That was another thing I did here, actually, regarding World and why I think it did so well, was that it was so different compared to previous games. It allowed new people to kind of jump in. That was my impression, anyway. Let's see, I just want to mask out all of that. Oh, went a bit wonky there. There we go. So that way I can do anything I want and it won't affect the black. I see Queen. Yeah, okay, that, that does make sense. I'll make this nice and crisp. <laughs> I guess that works. Hold on. What if I did that? Oh, wow. That's interesting. Oh, that's a bit of a happy accident. Probably won't really fit this, but something to keep in mind for the future if I do like a really subtle version. like a slightly harsher version closer inwards. Ooh, I gotta keep that in mind for the future. So there you go then, it's always nice to like try out uh, like different things, different tools and such. Like you wouldn't think really that, let me give you like a quick little demonstration. You wouldn't really think right that this alpha would be suitable for eyes, and yet, here we go. Yeah, yeah, I like it as well. I'm glad you like it, Queen. Cool, yeah, pretty happy with that. Uh, is there anything else I can change for it? I think, to be fair, that might be the eye just done. Well, I like how, I really like how sharp they are. And then, if we, let's just get rid of that quickly and get rid of that, and... Uh, which material is it? It is eye reflection. Yeah, this one. Just change that. There we go, nice shiny eyes. Give that a quick little render, just see what it looks like. And meanwhile, I'll just quickly check this squad again. It's like I said, it's a bit of a important, oi. Fucking <laughs> Kev. Okay, yeah, I really like how that looks. Sweet. It's been a long time since I've actually done like a custom detailed eye like that. Because the last couple of uh, things I've been sculpting or drawing have been like a little bit more on the simple side. Which is fine, obviously. I've not done anything like that in a long time. Really happy with that. Really happy. Now, I should make sure that everything else is about as detailed as that. <laughs> which might be a bit tricky. Oh, well, actually, the eyes. So I do want to just darken all of that out. Uh, so we'll go ahead and let's just try using that other one again then. I think it was this one. It was one next to it. There we go. <gasps> Luna, hello. Okay, well, I just felt Luna really heavily smack into my chair. But she did it willingly, though, because she walked slowly towards me. So I know she didn't just run into it. She just headbutted my chair, I think. I have special cats. I love them. They're absolute weirdos. Where is Luna? Luna? Oh, <laughs> okay. She's sunbathing in the hallway. She moved away very quickly. Seeing if the wheel is fixed. To be fair, it does feel better so far, the wheel. Oh. And hello, Frozen. Love lovely to see you. <laughs> Can't 
God, they're making so much noise today, them two. I just keep on randomly here, like one of them just falling, not falling, like landing hard on things. Oh, Lisa! Hello! Oh, there goes my chair. God damn it. Well, it worked for as long as I wasn't thinking about it, and then it suddenly stopped working. Let's see, let's just go ahead then and do all of that. So what I'm doing right now is just adding like a lot of false shadow. Since, personal preference, I like it when the outlines around the eyes are really dark. Imagine like a false, um, Eyeshadow or eyeliner. I don't know what it is. I've just always really liked it when the eyes pop out like really crisp and clear And I find that having the area around the eyes not not be terribly dark, but just be slightly darker I find it does a really good job of uh, complementing that Which is why I'm just adding so much black all around here Black dark red There we go like that And no, the Pringle lid moved away. I bet one of them one of them played with it. Oliver wheeled the chair to stop his dim powers. Well, it didn't work for very long, did it? Okay, give me one second. Let me try that again. <laughs> Hi, Luna. Okay, I think it was a cat. Hey. Yep, yeah, okay, I think one of them sabotaged me. I went to uh, put the lid back into the chair and Luna just came running, oh, hello, running straight at me. Hello, Luna. That's my tablet, get off my tablet, get off my tablet, cat. Oh dear, don't roll over it. <laughs> Whoa, that's my tablet. Can you like get your tail out of my face? Thank you, goodbye. All right then, good cat. Right. Cats do play the strangest things, I completely agree. Let me look up, uh, let's just say, what was a good thing to look up? What is a colourful bird? A macaw. I'm thinking like, not colourful is the wrong word, a boldly coloured bird. I think a macaw is a good one, right? Yeah, it is. Just had my tea quickly while I, um, Compare colours. I'm just thinking of how to make the feathers a bit more richer. Not the feathers per se, but like just the entirety of the body's colour, because the face right now looks very high contrast and detailed, whereas the body looks a bit washed out by comparison. There we go. Let's see. There we go, good cup of tea. I think what I want to do then is dock that, get auto masking cavity, and just do like a few white highlights here and there. Just hide the accessories as well, that way I can get like every part of the body. There we go. Golden pheasant. One second. A golden phoenix? No, pheasant. There we go. Oh, that is beautiful. Wow, that is a beautiful coloured bird. Damn, good good shout. Yeah, thank you, Gee. 
let's see, what do I want to do then? So like, I think, yeah, yeah, like if I add like a couple of golden highlights here and there as well. Yeah, very bold colors, I agree. Hello, Fexy, welcome. And TJ the winner, thank you for the follow, mates, and welcome. Yeah, it is a beautiful bird, isn't it? It definitely fits quite nice in regards to like, the yellows and the reds. So let's disable cavity mask for a moment then. Just make like maybe the entire highlight just a little bit bigger like that. Make it a bit more ginger. And then cavity mask so that we can highlight some areas like that. There we go, I like that. Just very subtle change and it just made the shoulders look like a bit more brightly coloured. As I felt like, like I said before, it was starting to look a bit washed out. A bit bland. And I feel like just that little difference there in the shoulders has really made some of the undertones like pop out a bit more. The undertones, the bicep and the, like around the torso. Or the pecs. No. <laughs> the stomach is what I'm trying to say. <laughs> the sides around the stomach. How are you doing today, Fexy? And I would like to do the same thing as well with the blue around the chest. But that would be more of a low light. So we'll just go ahead then and reverse that to a minus 10 cavity. I think for this, I do want something a bit more mottled. In fact, I think maybe even just do like a couple little spots. Not like that. What would be between blue and yellow? Green. Hmm. I don't really want to have green here. To bridge the two colours. Like right now, I feel like this entire area here is just like a little, little bit uh, of a weird grey. I think maybe if I make like a bit of a brown, like a nice earthy brown tone. I really do enjoy exper uh, experiencing, no, experimenting with colours like this. Let's quickly. Hide all of that so I can undo it a little bit faster. I'm at the point now, right, where things are like getting very laggy. So if I try to undo like several things in a row, ZBrush has a bit of a shit. <laughs> so if I like hide a few things in the background, like all the different subtools, for example, just that little bit less visible data means that I can control Z more frequently. You're getting a good rest after being wrestled by the. Oh, by. The... What is that? By the. Kinesi therapist yesterday. Interesting. I hope you're okay. I'm glad you get a rest then. I've got no idea what that is, so. Interesting. But I don't want to pry though, if it's personal. Uh, Gee, I'm doing well myself. I just got Luna. Hello, Luna. Come into your box. Go in here. Come on. She won't go in the box. This cat. Go in the box, Luna. It's your box. No, she doesn't want to. Okay, then. And yes, Queen, it is April 1st tomorrow. I don't know what it is, right? But every like, every year, right, I've got the same issue. Where I'll think to myself, like, all sorts of ideas for April Fool's. And I think, like, oh, I could do this next year. I could do that next year. Oh, I've got to remember this. I've got to remember that. And when it actually comes to, like, the day itself... I've forgotten everything and I got no idea what to do. <laughs> Every year this happens. And it's just typical. Which I guess isn't a bad thing really, because I know April Fools isn't for everyone, but it's nice like you know have a little bit of fun every now and then. Oh, 
There we go. I quite like that. So I know the dark brown there might be a bit of a strange touch, but I mean, honestly, you're not really going to see it, see much of it anyway. But I feel like it just, you know, connects the blue and orange together a bit better than the weird grey mixture it was earlier. You're getting a re-education because you broke your wrist about a month ago, and she said, "I have to look for uh, you have to look for it when it." Hold on. Oh, I see, Vexy. Oh, right. Ouch. Damn, dude. Well, I hope, I hope your wrist is okay. And Jenna. Oh, yeah, Jenna. I guess it's the one thing I did have prepared for, actually. I had to upgrade your Twitch sub again. You just got to wait till you got the gift sub. Uh, has to run out and resub on your own. I'm actually not sure, Queen. That's a good question. I'm... To be fair, I'd be surprised if you weren't able to upgrade it right now. Like, I, I get it, you know, like, obviously, if you've got, like, a gifted sub, you will probably prior that, but I thought you could upgrade them anyway. And Sai, lovely to see you, mate. Welcome. Welcome, you, you old nutter. Minus 10 that, so we'll get like a bit more detail there. You can't upgrade it from, uh, you can't upgrade it for some reason. You have to wait it out. Oh, that's strange. Oh, but fair enough then. Thank you, Peekabye, for confirming that one. Weird. <laughs> yeah, Queen. <laughs> I, it's interesting how like that's an actual thing that you have to say. <laughs> but I know exactly what you mean though. <laughs> Let's see. And thank you for considering it, by the way. <laughs> no charity, please. <laughs> Oh, dear. Only, only in this community is that a concern, eh? <laughs> yeah, exactly, Muzzle, exactly. Right, let me think. What else, then, can I do with regards to details here? I think, uh... <laughs> I think otherwise. I'm just going to experiment a little bit at the moment. So let's sail to do that. So what I, what I want, right, is like a couple more like little sharper details, but not the paint swatches I was using earlier. I think, um... What's like a good, kind of like a bit of a stripey texture actually. But I don't really have that, do I? Anything stripey. I guess actually I do have these. Oh, not like that though. Hmm, no, I think it'll be fine actually. To be fair, I do think it's fine the way it is now. Oh, bless you, Queen. I need to sneeze. Oh, God. No, it just left. Okay, then. Well, as I was going to say, though, Queen, all I can really say is thank you. Like, after, you know, so I know we had that conversation last night. So, all I can really say is thank you. Can you imagine someone just hops in here uh, to give Queen a, Queen a sub and then leaves? <laughs> I can see that happening, to be honest. Oh, whoops. There we go. Imagine gifting someone a six-month sub and they want to upgrade it. Oh, God. such a strange way to troll someone. It really is. God, yeah, like, the more you think about it, that's such an odd way that you could actually troll someone. Hi, Luna. That's my tablet. Oh, okay. That's my arm. Uh, and goodbye. All right, then. Cool. Luna is the most typical cat in the sense that she just has to walk over you to walk past you.
But then again, now I let her. So really, like, who's the bigger fool here? I do let her do it. Right, I want to try and add like a bit of highlights to the um, to the feathers here. No, you're cute, Kitsune. <laughs> and thank you. What if I did like a bit of gold here and there? Actually, I feel like a, just like a little bit of gold flecks in the feathers here would just look quite nice. Oh, that's a bit too much there. So the reason why I'm doing this, right, it's because as I've like mentioned before, I just really, it's like a little pet peeve of mine, I just really dislike it when a single part so just has like one singular texture. And in this case, like the feathers are just like a jet red and even though the red is nice, like I really like how the feathers look, I feel like just, just red alone, it's a bit boring. Which is why I always insist on like kind of mottling up like this. And it's super subtle, like, right? You're not even going to notice the majority of it, to be honest. But it makes it feel good. Oh, that bit there's a bit too bright. Come on. There we go. I was shocked when I jumped in your stream and I saw the end sub again. I was like, I'm not subbed anymore. What's happening? <laughs> Reminds me when your dad read an article. This guy got random pieces delivered to him every week for 10 years straight. Wait, what? He got 11 pieces delivered to, delivered to him in one day at one point. What? That's so odd and so cool at the same time. Oh man, free pizza. The cats are usually, uh, the cats usually are what the owners are, like the expression like mother, like daughter. Well, my cats are very lovable trolls. So what does that say about me? <laughs> like legit, they, they can be a right troll sometimes, the cats, both of them. But they're also both extremely affectionate. They're just really affectionate and trusting. I'm not affectionate, screw you. I'll fight you. <laughs> They're oblivious fuffballs, are. Is that not accurate? <laughs> if you deny it, it makes you cuter. Well, shit. You gotta be there. Oh, it's Amy. You want a cat? Aww. Yeah, I suppose that's the thing, isn't it? Like, not everyone can have cats, and it, it is quite unfortunate. All dogs don't matter. I think dogs are just as awesome as well. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that, Galactic Donga. Great name, by the way. Right, now that we've got all these highlights in, just like give the feathers like a bit more variation, a bit more colour. Oh, a bit too much there. Nope, too much still. Good enough. What happens if I were to give it a bit of cyan? No, that clashes too much. Uh, what if I give it some brown then? The thing it needs some like darker parts to go over everything else. So for that, we'll just reverse the mask. You managed to get Clarex Spore Mascot into Source Filmmaker. Oh dear, Sire, what have you got planned for her? Hello, Alpha, welcome, mate. Last time you were here, I was on part three in the Hardcore Arc World. God, that has been a while, actually. I, I really miss doing the Hardcore playthroughs, not gonna lie. But welcome, Alpha, it's lovely to see you again. I hope that you've been well. Oh dear, Sai. 
Well then, I wish Clarick all the best and I wish you the best of luck. Been well, how about you? I've been quite well, thank you very much. I've been enjoying myself, I've been very busy lately. I've taken a break from Ark entirely, uh, waiting for Genesis Part 2 to come out. Which is now only a month away, if I remember correctly. We've got one more month to wait, assuming it doesn't get delayed again. Ooh, soon, soon, soon. Where's a hardcore vegan playthrough? <laughs> true, true. I will be I will be playing more um, Valheim by the way guys, just so you're aware. And obviously like this week I've kind of abruptly stopped just because I've got like a lot of um commissions and also sport videos I gotta do. I'll be doing sport tomorrow. But I do plan to get back to Valheim next week. There we go. Yeah, I can't wait for Genesis 2 as, as well. What is this? This is a commission for the Dragon Queen in the chat. Of her character, Kane. And that is him so far. Thank you. Thank you very much. I understand why you haven't got back to Hardcore Arc, but it'd be cool to see you tackle it again. I definitely want to. I do feel like that. Uh, so I really enjoyed streaming it. I must emphasize that. It was really, really fun streaming and sharing it. That being said, I think, because I, I want to do it for myself, right? The entire... I'm just just my chair. The entire reason I want to do Hardcore Arc is because it's a challenge I want to do myself. Not just necessarily to share it, but because I want to do it. I want to say, hey, yeah, I've done it. So I think doing it as a Let's Play on YouTube might be the best solution. Stream some of it, but like otherwise focus it as a Let's Play. Because there were like more than a few times where I was too distracted and not thinking very clearly, such as the bats, as we're all familiar with. The bats, yeah. <laughs> I remember. <laughs> Moments like that could have been severely avoided if I was thinking clearly in a let's play and not a live stream. <laughs> Hello, Adrian, welcome back. And thank you, Queen. And Jenna, I'm glad that they're enjoyable. I'm glad. I should make my own game. It'd be awesome if I could. Uh, there is a very large, um, how do I say? There's a tremendous gap in knowledge between learning how to model and learning how to make a game. However, a lot of people are able to make games nowadays. The information is out there, all the tutorials, all the guides, all the resources. So you never know, one day in the future. It would be, I would love to work on a game. I'd definitely love to work on a game. Adrian, thank you. I should stream more Ark on Discord. <laughs> I should play more Ark in general. <laughs> I've actually not played in a while. Hello, Leonardo. Love to see you again. I'm doing very well, thank you. How about yourself? Right, I'm really happy with the body, uh, the colouring. So what I've been doing for like the last hour is I've just been making all the colours and the body just richer. Uh, beforehand, a lot of it, like here and there, was looking like a little bit drab, a little bit... Um, desaturated. I feel like it's now a lot brighter, which is exactly what I want for such a colourful character. If anything, I do want to go back and just change some of the blue tones into a bit more of a teal. Yeah, I've not played Ark in a while either. I did play a bit of um, a bit of Primal Fear a while ago, but honestly I just got... I really enjoyed the Primal Fear, but I did just get bored of it quite quickly as well. Which is where I thought to myself, okay, I do need a break before Genesis Part 2. Do I watch any animes? Not really, to be honest, no. I've seen a few animes. I've seen th things like Attack on Titan. Uh, I used to watch a lot of Bleach. What else? Uh, one Punch Man. I love that one. Used to enjoy Dragon Ball Z as well when I was younger. But I don't really watch much anime nowadays. You've been, um, you was around back during the hybrid drawings, uh, you, you, sorry, you were around back during the hybrid drawing videos, it's been a while. Definitely, yeah, actually. Oh, I miss doing those, man. Gotta do more hybrid videos. 
I really do miss doing those because I, I got to meet like just so many cool people during all of that. So many awesome people who are now like who are a big part of the community now. And it'd be lovely to have the opportunity to meet more via it. I've always said that I would bring it back again. It's just a case of, you know, when am I able to do it? When can I put it off? Yeah, I do have plans to, absolutely. It's more a case of timing. Oh, but I loved it though, it was so good. It was amazing, it was it was really lovely, right? Just seeing all the different variety of artists come out of the woodwork and get to meet so many new people, as well as see just like the art themselves, or itself, you know what I mean. It was good, it was a, it was a fantastic experience. Gonna get rid of the floor. There we go, so I can see a bit clearer. And I just wanna low light. Well, that's actually that's a good shade right there. I wanna low light the underparts around here. My plans for tomorrow, uh, spore. Tomorrow I'll be doing some spore creations. On stream, that is. <laughs> Just in case it wasn't already clear. Uh, yeah, that'll be tomorrow's um, stream. Uh, tomorrow's stream plan is some small creations that I can then put into videos. Uh, one thing, I, oh, I'll be doing like a couple more How to Train a Dragon things. Since we did the poll recently on YouTube, I want to get that, you know, finished off. I really want to remake Godzilla, but I'm waiting until I see the movie. <laughs> because... It's so easy, like, in a Godzilla-themed stream, right? It's so easy for just one person to say the wrong thing and it ruins it for everyone, myself included. But I really want to remake Godzilla. <laughs> Probably not tomorrow, unfortunately, but soon. Soon. Meet! Leonardo, thank you very much for the resub. Or, actually, for the sub in general, thank you very much. You've watched 1,771 episodes of anime according to your anime list. Watch everything you've already watched in one sitting, or take it 29. Oh my goodness, that's insane, Sarito. And hello, Slow DK, good to see you again. And Queen, good, I'm glad. See, I'm really happy to hear that. That's like another thing I wanted out the hybrid prompts was people just to, just to give it a go, you know? So a lot of people try new techniques, try like very different styles I never would have done before or try drawing for the first time in general. Like a lot of people were trying new things which meant that a lot of people weren't in their comfort zones and it was good because it meant that a lot of people got to experience new things together and therefore back each other up. Scientifically accurate Godzilla? <laughs> oh no. Well, what would that even look like? Scientifically me, me. accurate Godzilla? Well, for, for a start, it'll be probably just cramped, you know, just collapsed <laughs> under its gravity. A very small Godzilla, yeah. Hello, ghost. Lovely to see you again. And thank you very much. Thank you for the tier 2 sub. No, for the 10-month resub. You know what I mean. <laughs> it's lovely to see you again. Again, a lot of uh, people coming back today, aren't we? It was good to see everyone again. You'll see a lot of, like, old, um, old names or old faces coming back. Sci Science Zilla, flat blob on the ground. Oh god. That would be great. That would honestly be fantastic. That would anger so many people. Which makes it all the better. Oh, maybe that could be the April Fools. But then that means I have to get it done like right now. Well, it could be like a late April Fools. It would be able to, uh, it would be able to survive with very little resources and die. True. You take a T Rex size Godzilla and hold on. You take a T Rex size Godzilla over Godzilla at all? Yeah. I remember I was watching a stream and then I started to fall asleep and it just said meat. That still happens. <laughs> that that definitely still happens, Alpha. <clears throat> Excuse me. Yeah, we still have the meat uh, sub sound. Which I'm sure you've probably just seen a couple of times, actually. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, no worries at all, Ghost. I understand you've been busy. But like I said, it's lovely to see you again. Nah, I get that. I think like we've all been a bit busy lately, haven't we? <gasps> and Beaky Pie, thank you for the gift of sub to Alpha. Congratulations, Alpha. I actually fell asleep to one of your streams. I think it was a hardcore arc one. <laughs> is there a meter moat? Yes, there is actually. But uh, because I'm not partnered, I can't give the emote to everyone. Like basically, the way it works on Twitch, right? You get the most emotes unlocked if you're a partner, which I'm not. I'm only an affiliate. So if I want to add more uh, different emotes, I have to do it like these weird things, like tier two, tier three, certain amount of bit milestones. So the hype train. Oh, oh dear. Hype train. Mag, thank you for the gift of up to Adrian. <laughs> Congratulations, Adrian. <laughs> yeah, I remember that, Jenna. It was fantastic. The last time we had a hype train was one hell of an experience. I'd be surprised if it happened again. You're not a partner? No, no. I'm uh, only an affiliate. Which means, like I said, so that means that I have uh, much fewer emotes, unfortunately. But hey, if I ever get partners, you know I'll be pestering Drakia for a bunch of emotes. Shall we? Wait, last Monday, shall we? Oh god, I'm scared. Mag, what are you gonna do? Yeah, I think the last sub train was last Monday, actually. Last week, right? God, it was, it was mental. And it was like right at the beginning of the stream as well. Like a brand new week, a uh, brand new week had started, brand new Monday. And you know what like, Mondays are like, around Mondays are normally like very just like, okay, time to, time to start another week. And you guys just popped off <laughs> with just so much. Yes, Pikachu Pie, I want more cute Drakia modes. I'm sad that I can't, you know, post more of them on Twitch. Me. To Asgard? <laughs> oh god, Mac, thank you for the gift of sub to, uh, to, Mas to Asgard. Oh god, I can't even speak. Thank you. Uh, has, so if I'm being serious for a moment, my baby Godzilla would be a pretty accurate one. If I'm feeling cheeky, Thera and I have already been 100% scientifically accurate Godzilla in terms uh, of each other's. Has, I kind of want to see what that looks like, actually. Oh, that sounds adorable. More meat. Let the meat commence. And let me just do that. But yeah, thank you for like all of the subs and gifted subs as of like the last, what was it, 10 minutes? <laughs> thank you very much. It always helps. It's always nice to see people, you know, not only support me, but each other in the chat so that like, everyone gets like, all the same perks. It's really Please. nice to see. Uh, th th you give them something to Yggdrasil? That's pretty pog, actually. Thank you. Thank you for another gifted sub. Damn. This would be a perfect time to play Valheim, wouldn't it? Asgard, Yggdrasil. Right, I think that's enough to work on the tail. I got a bit carried away with that, but it does look really nice. I do like how that looks a lot. If anything, I would like for it just to be a bit more saturated. Let me compare it to the reference quickly. Yeah, I would like to be a bit more saturated. <laughs> yeah, has a, I would love to see it, actually. <laughs> Pukey Pie for the gift of sub to Odin. Oh god, thank you Pukey Pie. <laughs> and Mag to hell, <laughs> Wait, Australia's a myth? Wait, where does that come from? Thank you very, very much. Uh, Silver Dreams, welcome. What's Crackalackin? Uh, sorry, don't hit the nail on the head there. Hype Train and Norse Mythology. That's what's Crackalackin. <laughs> welcome, mate. And Leonardo. We've we got quite a few Australians, actually. It's really cool. I think uh, right now we have just. We've got uh, Myrtle and Haz, who are both Australian. I love it, man. We've got like a, surprising, like a surprisingly high number of Australians in the community. I bet it's because I sound like one, right? Yeah, <laughs> apparently. Me. And there we go, Valheim, of course. 
Nag, thank you for the gift to the Valheim. It's an extremely enjoyable game. <laughs> Wait, I wonder if that's like actually the Valheim game. Myrtle's saying about how Sheena has done exist. Oh, right, right, right. Sorry, I missed that. <laughs> My bad. And the slow DK, thank you for the host. Thank you very much. <laughs> I like that troll. Me. Oh god, now imagine if that guy comes in a trolls. That'd be funny. Thank you again, PewDiePie. I'm going my water. <laughs> mm. Okay, I forgot I had to drink water. Give me one second. I like kind of awkwardly forgot I was drinking halfway. Meat! Great Dwarf Shaman, that's incredible. <laughs> Thank you, Pinky Pie, again. How are you finding these names? Like, how are these actually re really count? Oh, whoops. Oh, oh crap, didn't mean to do that. Let me just quickly get orange back. There we go. Meat! <laughs> Mag to Midgard. Vexy to Cesar. <laughs> Thank you very much, Vexy, and welcome. I mean, like, joining in, that is. Meat! How are. Wait. How are this real? <laughs> how are you finding these names? Jesus Christ. Really though, like, thank you. Can I just say, like, seriously, thank you. <laughs> I wonder if Cesar's a real person. If Cesar's here, congratulations. Who called themselves right arm. That's a good point. That's an extremely good point. Like, who did call themselves right arm? For those who missed it, it's the last time we had a subtrain. Uh, Mag Please. literally made a human. Like, he made a person out of gifted subs. So he like gifted subs like head, torso, right arm, left leg. And these are all like legitimate names of people on Twitch. So these are like other Twitch accounts. <laughs> Peaky Pie, thank you for the sub to your welcome. And has. Let me take a look. Oh, they're they're actually adorable. Okay, that that second one's terrifying. <laughs> but they're both actually really cool. I like them. <laughs> Thank you for sharing, sharing, sharing. You know what I mean. Thank you, Haz. You subbed again. Yes, Adrian. You and everyone else, apparently. Me. Oh, Pinkie Pie. Thank you. <laughs> it's a good art. I appreciate that. I wonder how many people are like, who the hell gifted me a sub to this random person? I know, right? But I mean, that's the thing, is that all these people get notifications. <laughs> so... In the past, like, this has happened multiple times in the past, where people like, uh, Pukupai, Mag, and Frozen. And I think Squid as well, at one Please. point, were gifting subs to people like Ninja, to, um... Oh, like, who are some of the other people, like... Just really, really big streamers on the platform. PewDiePie, Ninja, Jacksepticeye, Please. Markiplier... Uh... Shroud. I mean, I, I like, I feel like that these kind of people probably get the notifications all the time, but if they didn't, then that must have been just really strange to have logged into and seen one day. <laughs> to, to a random person, to Joltenheim and Nispelheim. <laughs> Thank you. And it's alright, Adrian, it would have been either Mag, it would have been either Mag, Pikapai, or Dexy that gives you the sub. Okay then, I think I'm done with this tail. There we go. I should be a bit more colourful, I think. To Bone Mass and Alphime. Oh my god, you two! You're still at it! <laughs> to the Valheim theme. Hello, Sommy! You're gonna be stuck in a train for 24 hours? Oh no! Oh, Sommy. Well, it's lovely to see you stop by for a moment, and good luck with the uh, travelling. 
<laughs> hey, Sotman, you enjoyed it a great time, by the way. There we go. Give me one second, guys. Alright, there we go then. <laughs> to eek there, thank you again, Pika. But you're actually nearly at tier 5. Like, the three of you have single handedly brought it up to, to nearly tier 5. You know what it's like getting a friend gives you a sub uh, to a Minecraft streamer uh, when I popped by for a little bit? <laughs> oh dear. This is funny though, isn't it? It's good. Let's see, I just want to get a nice bit Please. of orange. And then we go to hype train. Of course, of course, to hype train. <laughs> Thank you again. Anyone who shops in Rebecca's streams gets gifted to the side, but make true. <laughs> I've had, um, in fact, just yesterday, one of my guildies and WoW popped by last Please. night. And he was just, just asked, how the hell did he get a second sub? <laughs> There must be so many confused people. And to Zvart Zvartelfeim? Zvartelfeim. I can't say that. I feel... Mate, I feel like European saying that. Zvartelfeim. <laughs> Thank you. And Pikapai, understandable. Thank you very, very much. Oh, dear God. We are the confusion. You are, mate. Nah, like, again, sincerely, thank you. Because it, it does make a big difference, and, I, and it does help a lot, so thank you for, for like, all jokes on the side. I do appreciate it. You wonder what level Ludwig's hype train is at? Uh, oh, Ludwig, I recognise that name. I'm not sure who that is, though. Zvartelheim looked to be Black Elfheim translated. Oh, oh, Dark Elfheim. Ah, oh, I see, I see. <laughs> Thank you both for expanding it. We've got Vanaheim as well. Vanaheim, that's a place, is it not? I recognise that one a lot. Vanaheim. This is where, like, the really uncultured me is shining through. There we go, finally. The tail is brighter. Uh, the tail was looking like very, just like a different colour compared to the rest of, it for, rest of it for a long time. It finally looks normal again. But now the blue part of the tail looks a little bit off. You wonder if Valheim is a person? That's a good question, actually. And all with Heim just gets, just gets subbed. Yep. <laughs> As I said, though, again, thank you. Thank you very, very much. And so I'm kind of curious. I want to see because I, I didn't right. I didn't see like during the last stream. But I want to see this one. Like how many gifts of subs have actually just been? If it'll even show. Sometimes it's a bit outdated. Okay, it doesn't show yet. Ah. Me. <laughs> Absolutely insane. No, you're still at it. Oh my god. Back to. Nidavalir? Nidavalir. Nidavalir. I can't even say it. Thank you. How about Heimheim? Heimheim. If I'm not mistaken, there's nine realms, and I think most of, most, almost all of them has Heim in their name. There's a special snow face called Midgard, yeah. And Leonardo. Uh, oh, wow, I see Leonardo. Damn. I mean, that's that's quite an effective way to uh, keep the stream going, but god damn, that guy must be exhausted. All taking in turns, actually. Me. Yeah, I feel like that uh, someone's going to do that. They're probably taking in turns with other people, so it might like, be like a team of streamers. Doing that, I would hope. Otherwise, that must be a very, very tired person. Mag to Nif Nifleheim. Wait, Saga, what does Nifleheim mean? Why Why do you say why? <laughs> I love how it's just like the Norse mythology theme just came in out of nowhere as well. 
This is so abrupt. Ah, I know what's off about this. Right, so this has been wrecking me, right? Uh, all around the torso, you can see how the cyan's got like a very subtle uh, navy or blue outline to it that bridges between the cyan and the orange. It doesn't have it on the tail. That's why it's been looking really uncanny to me. Yep, yeah, me too, Queen! Like, all these names and the fact that Mag, Mag and Pikmo are finding them all as well. Like, that's the thing that gets me is that not only is this, this many people the name, but they're finding them. Odin's already subbed. Oh, you know, just, just casual in it. It's already subbed, it's fine. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> Pirate upset. And there we go, the hype trend's concluded. You guys are crazy. Oh my god, I got a note. What did I get? Choo choo hype run. I got a person. I got a weirdo. Sweet. I'm glad I got a weirdo. Thank you for the weirdo, guys. <laughs> Again, thank you. Sincerely. This has been a absolutely ridiculous month in regards to, like, just Twitch revenue, <laughs> I'm gonna be honest. Oh, whoops, that's a bit too dark there. Just adding a bit of a subtle outline to the cyan, so it just bridges the cyan and the yellow a bit better. Or a bit nicer. <gasps> I am streaming noodle painting. I'm painting noodles. Oh, that reminds me. Kitsu was it Kitsune? I think it was. S uh, someone yesterday had like a really adorable idea. So I mentioned yesterday, right, that for Easter, I've never painted Easter eggs. And I think it was Kitsune. Suggested that I paint eggs in ZBrush for Easter. So I might do that in the future. I don't really do enough holiday stuff, do I? Like, come to think of it, I'm, I really don't do holiday stuff. Maybe it was Jenna. I'm not sure who suggested it, but it's a really, really cute idea. I think the only holiday things I'm happy not doing is uh, Halloween. <laughs> Because everyone expects horror games, and uh, I'm I'm sorry, <laughs> horror games right now. You really want to draw? Hold on, you really want to commission you to draw a proper feather snake? A proper feather snake doesn't turn something else. Ooh. Oh, Queen just reminded me of that really cool. Um, oh, it's like a Naga character that you and Zombie did, right? Uh, yeah, Kitsune Iwazu, that's right. I thought she'd be like a really, um, I really like that idea. I think it'd be really cute to do. Okay, I think I'm done playing with the tail. Okay, good. That finally looks good to me. Like, it looks balanced now between the uh, body and the tail. Uh, give me a sec, I've got a message on Discord from Sommy. One sec, just stretching. <laughs> right, cool. All right, I didn't call Sommy, we can talk about that more later. <laughs> Easter geese. Jenna. You just gave me a horrible idea. So, Im <laughs> right. Imagine an egg, but it's like a really cartooned egg with a face on it. So you've got like the eyes and the mouth and the teeth, and it's like a it's like a, a gee egg, a gee a geek, basically a gee egg. <laughs> and I'm actually just painting on that. <laughs> that sounds absolutely awful. And uh, Sarada, that's her name. Yeah, it's just got like a really beautiful design. Right, so I'm done with the feathers for now, then I kind of want to move on to something else in the model, uh, with the model, excuse me. Let's do the hands and feet. I've not finished these. <laughs> Geese. Ge 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 <laughs> way back, uh, way back, there was a commission for the dragon that bed gold and had feather wings. How cool it be to paint with that aesthetic on an egg? Ooh, I know which one you mean. That's Exo. Exoneration by Annie, or for Annie. 
That'd be a wicked theme. Oh, that'd be really interesting. <coughs> Excuse me. <laughs> Geek. Right, let me grab that. And let's get a bit of a dark teal. Actually, a very dark teal when I think about it. Right. This one thing's going to be scary again. And I say scary because imagine you're drawing, like, imagine you're painting a really cool mountain. You'd be going to put trees on it and you're worried that you're going to ruin the, the um, mountain painting with the trees. That's kind of how I feel like here when I have to do, like, big, dramatic uh, new colours on an uh, existing textured area. That's what I'm going to have to do, though. All these little segments here are going to have to be very dark. So hopefully this looks all right. Ah, uh, ruined. Right, let me... I'm going to start with a very, very dark colour so that I can highlight it afterwards. Because, basically, if I had to have the outline be anything, like the outline of the still area, I'd rather the outline be darker than lighter. So if I apply a dark mask first, and then lighter textures on it afterwards, it's just easier, easier to control. And I think the same could be said for like uh, 2D art as well. And I'm going to do this for every single scale. Well, scale, more like um, plate. <laughs> you are the used to now. <laughs> In fact, what would be a lot quicker is if I just quickly block out all of it and then outline it afterwards. Exactly, yes. Yeah, stop the dark so you can slap on the highlights. Exactly. Geek, 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 exactly. Oh, whoops, that went a bit too far there. What time is it? It's four. Oh god, you guys. <laughs> oh no, ghost! Gee, no! Oh, and Sarita, I'm sorry to hear that. That sucks, dude. Alright, nice one then, Queen. Awesome. Just have a quick little look at it, just to, just to see if it's something that needs an urgent response. Ah, oh, that's what. Okay, yeah, cool, cool, right. Yeah, we can discuss it after the stream then. I just want to see what like the context of the uh, message was. Thank you, Queen, and Luna Magic. Thank you for the following. Welcome. Oh, hydrate. It's a good idea. Thank you very much. I think once I've gotten all of the dark teal in place, so all these big scales of colour, so I want it to be like the same consistent colour on all of them, both hands and feet. When I've done this, I will go and have like a little five minute break, get like a cup of tea and such. It'll be like about five, ten minutes away. But that shall be the plan. Okay then, Guy. I can have lunch. Enjoy yourself, mate. Have a good meal, and I'll see you soon. <laughs> Jenna. You know what? I, I reckon I saw how people felt the whole Anku thing before. In fact, every time on Discord there's like a sudden little fads and or like cults as you guys call them, I think uh, that's how the person always feels like, hmm, what do I do? I've started this. I didn't mean to start this. Imagine how I feel <laughs> as like the one in charge of the community. Like, oh shit, boys, here we go again. Oh no, Jenna! No, Jenna, Queen! <laughs> oh, that definitely is quite quite the dilemma. Uh, 
Uh, then some, did some people make eggs in sport? An alternative to do back is make eggs, um, eggs based on your community members in sport, like how you make plushies for your members. That's an interesting idea. Ooh. I do like, so I do actually, hmm, let me think. Right, so. I agree with Jenna and Silver, but that is a lot, that would be a lot of people, a lot of eggs. Now, I really like the idea of just like painting on them because I, I've, I've never done that before. And I think as a brush, it could be really fun. Like doing intricate little paintings and such. Especially people have like ideas they want to throw in. The doing it in spores is a really good idea. I think that'd be fun for other people to do. The reason why I don't want to do it myself is because I still intend to finish those plushies. I've still got loads more plushies I was supposed to make. So that's something I plan on going back to in the future and therefore I wouldn't want to do like another series. I'd rather carry on the current series. If that makes sense. But like I said, I think that'd be a lovely idea for other people to do though with the small one. Actually, Ooh, when is Easter? Hold on, hold on. Easter UK is this weekend coming up. What about Easter US? Oh, okay, so Easter's like a global thing then. I know it has summer holidays like Mother's Day and Father's Day. It's uh, different in different regions. Uh, what about Easter EU? <laughs> Doesn't even say. Okay, yeah, yeah, right. Easter. I actually know, apparently, in the European Union. Easter is a week after. It's a week later. Uh, a week later, excuse me. But UK and US is the same one. Interesting. I was just thinking. No promises. No promises. But I was just thinking that it'd be a really, really fun YouTube idea if people did, like the community did, do like a little theme of their own of just like making all the um, eggs based on each other, like little gifts or whatever you want to call it, and I could showcase them. That'd be a fun little thing to do. A bit short notice though, that's the only issue. I'm gonna write that down. Give me a second, just so I don't, with my pen. Just so I don't forget it, because I don't want to consider that idea. YouTube, uh, let me see, community. Easter. Egg, spore, creation, show off. Definitely, oh whoops. Definitely an idea to consider. Uh, true queen, <laughs> I could use it as an excuse. Uh, the 3rd of April is Easter in Sweden. Huh. Yeah, it seems to be uh, like this weekend coming up right now. So like the beginning of April. Uh, definitely the case for most places. But just according to like quick little Google search in the EU, it's apparently on the 10th. I don't know. My chair is running away. You can make a Viva Pinata egg for Guy. Oh, that'd be a oh, Viva Pin Pinata also. That'd be adorable. Yeah, Queen, same. I really don't like that either. It's so like it's such a difficult holiday to remember because it's just different, like every year. I guess, like, you know, it is easy just to Google it, isn't it? But then you never think to Google it because... Isn't it like on some months it's on May, some months it's April, and like sometimes like March or July or whatever? I can't remember. So if it's like... In April, but you're used to it being in May, then you're not going to Google it in April, are you? So you're going to miss it. Oh my god, Adrian. Well played, well played. But yeah, either way though, I think yeah, like this weekend, it'd be a fun little thing to do. It'd be a late video for sure, but I, I do kind of want to try that. Uh, actually shit, here's an important question. When even is Easter? It's on... Friday and Monday, right? Like, it's the weekend. Yeah, okay, Friday and Monday. <laughs> That's entirely fair, Adrian. 
By the way, people are just tuning in now, probably wondering why am I being so sloppy with this? It's just quicker to block out the majority of the shape I want in, and then I'll go back and refine it. Uh, I tried refining it the very first time, and it was just taking like unnecessarily long, whereas doing this right now is just like a bit more efficient. How do Brits celebrate Easter? Honestly, I don't know because I don't know if like this may be a thing in my family or if it's a common thing in Britain, but my family never really did celebrate Easter. We just got chocolate. So I'm not actually sure to be honest. We never did the traditions. I think painting eggs is a very, it's like, uh, let me rephrase. I think painting eggs is a thing that British people do do, do, do partake in. I'm not sure about hunts, like Easter egg hunts. I think people do that here. I've just honestly never seen it. In the US, it's the first Sunday after the first Sunday after the Paschal full, full moon. Oh, wow. you got three art projects going on. Screw it, egg. <laughs> I mean, like... As long as you don't, you know, interrupt uh, your workload. I wouldn't want to do that to you. Oh, I see, Maver. Interesting. Imagine an Easter egg hunt adventure in Spore. Ah, oh, that'd be adorable. Fuck, why can't we think of this earlier? Ah, oh, that sounds really cute. Do you remember how I was saying at the beginning of the stream how every year on April Fools I have the same issue where I'll think of like a gajillion ideas over the course of the year for April Fools, but then when it comes to the date, I forget everything? That's how I feel right now regarding these Easter ideas. <laughs> when it comes to the actual date, <laughs> I've got no plan. Hey Leo, um, or Leonardo is good to be. Happy April Fool's Day. I hope you, I hope you have a good and not awful day. <laughs> Let me rephrase that. I hope you get spared. Enjoy yourself. You missed Monster March. Oh shit, same. I swear, man. One day I will take part in one of those, um, in one of those monthly art prompts. Oh, that is looking interesting. Right, and we'll do the same to the legs. Uh, now, before... There we go, I should do that. Perfect. Oh, there's just so much... So many big scales to colour in. Let's see, accessories. How much is covered? All of it. Okay, then. Or none of it, I should say. I guess on the plus side, actually, at least this one is symmetrical, so I don't have to do this one twice. Random lunch, random lunch pancakes. Oh, mate, enjoy yourself. I want random lunch pancakes. Oh, that is true, smorgast. I would, at some point, like to be able to complete one of these like uh, monthly art prompts. I always just have like a really hard time because I don't know what it is, right? I don't mind doing a piece every day, but then I will just completely forget about it, and then suddenly it'll be like five days later where I remember it again, and it's just it's just annoying when that happens. I guess what I could do though, is just like put down a post-it note on my monitor. 
<laughs> I could have to do a trick. Just put down a post-it note so that I can see every day. Like, oh yeah, go check what the next prompt is. <laughs> Leonardo, thank you. <laughs> oh god, a Kev prank. <gasps> what would that even look like? I'm scared. What would a Kev prank look like? That'd be terrifying. In a fun way. Aw, Queen. <laughs> I like that. That's just like a little innocent one. And yeah, it has. I think that's what I do actually. Yeah, it's like some kind of bust every time. I like just spend an hour and do like a bust based on different themes. So I would, so I do think that like doing like a fully fledged, complete piece every day for an entire month, like, that's a lot of work, right? And that's not necessarily work I would mind doing, it's just more so the time investment. Do like finished projects every day. It's obviously you've got to do like other things in a, in a week, don't you? But do like a portrait, like a, a rough portrait, for example. Just give it some like pretty filters so it looks all dramatic by, by the end of it. That'd be quite a nice little uh, middle ground. And Queen, same to be honest, same. I've never really been much of a prankster either. I like trolling people, but I've never been much of a prankster. Which is fine though, in my opinion. Not everyone has to be one. Hmm. I do not like where that's going, actually. Oh, ghost, enjoy yourself. And Myrtle, yes, shading. Oh, I know what you mean. I really enjoy shading, but God, it does take a long time to achieve, doesn't it? When you want to do it like nice and right. <laughs> Queen, good. I really look forward to seeing how these like these big till areas are gonna look when it's fully textured in. It's right now, so like it's obviously work in progress, right? I'm I'm very familiar with that. But right now, like you gotta admit, it clashes so badly and it just looks awful. But I've got faith that when it's like properly textured in, it's gonna look great. And I, sometimes I just get like really excited or even impatient for that kind of moment. Right, I just want to spend a little bit of time actually just tidying all the edges up and just make it look a bit nicer. Good queen, good, I'm glad. Ah, uh, yes, Myrtle. I think I know the technique that you're referring to, actually. And yeah, exactly. Like, even more so than in regards to the time it would take to complete that. That is why, like, when you have big, complicated techniques like that, that's what just makes the daily prompts so daunting. I guess one thing that a person could always do, right, is, like, doodle each prompt and then refine the prompt later in their own time. So that would give you like, plenty of content to work with, wouldn't it? Like over the course of time, just work on like 30 different uh, doodles and refine them. But then again, it also depends on like the kind of person that you are. So I could see that being a very intimidating amount of workload for some people. Or, you know, like choose your top seven 
of the 30 and then refine those in the future? Yeah, scoots, that's it. Thank you. I've been forgetting the word as well. Yeah, this would technically be the scoots of the feet. Thank you, Hat. These are basically the same as what you'd have on the back of a crocodile, isn't it? The big, large, scaly scoots going down their back. I think it's like technically the same uh, feature, just different location. Exactly. All right, cool. Yeah. Sweet. Yeah, good Jedi. I can imagine that being just like a lot easier on your mind as well. Uh, they're in between larger thick scales and osteoderms. <gasps> yeah, that sounds about right. <gasps> You're shading a 9 by 9000 pixel canvas? Oh my god, Myrtle? I, I just wish you the best of luck. That's a absurdly large resolution. Well, hey, if you ever wanted to get it printed, like on um, on clothing, <laughs> it'd be the perfect resolution for it. Holy shit, though. Or like on a poster. You're not shading, it's still in sketch phase? No, that's all. Well, would it be, so if it's still in sketch phase, would it be too late then? When you get to outline phase? If you even have one, or a line art, excuse me. Or even just like the sketch as it is now, just like go quickly change to like a lower resolution? So I think 4K is like more than adequate. Oh, thank you, Mattel, thank you very much. And has. Thank you, both of you. God, I, had such a, I just had such a dumb joke in mind. <laughs> when the two Australians who come from the land of crocodiles think the scales look good, you know you're doing it right. <laughs> Welcome, Baggy. scale experts. Hell yeah, man. You're the ones you get to see all up close and personal every day. Or at least, you know, I, that's, that's what I believe. Pretend to believe. Right, let us get this one all shaped up. So, I do still have the scales down here to do, but I do want to take my break. I do want to go get myself a new drink. So I'll just leave it at that for now then. I'd, obviously I'll be back in a moment. Oh, the thumb claw ones look really nice. I do like that. But that is, that is Kane so far. So for like people who are tuning in for the first time, this is the current progress thus far. Working on the hands and feet and all the scoots and scales. Give that a quick claws. We'll give this a, um, a different save just in case. Uh, Queen, you gotta go, I might see you in an hour. No worries at all, Queen. No worries at all, I hope you have a wonderful day if I don't see you. Uh, let me see, it's all the sketch layers. Oh god, oh, Myrtle, fair point, actually. Right then, yes, I am gonna have a stretch and take a break. Oh, excuse me, just five minutes. So, let me get the fan art up for you guys there. <gasps> Lego Jowie! Ah, oh, I love that one. It's like one of my favourite ones. Uh, let me set a timer then for like five, six minutes and get yourself a drink of some snacks and I will be RP.
right, there we go. <laughs> I'm back now. Sorry, that was uh, a bit longer than expected. Just as I was in the process of making my tea, I was halfway, I just put the milk and water in. Before I could take the tea bag out, uh, Kev called me with an emergency. <laughs> Everything's good, it was just like really urgent, you know, like I had to urgently get something for him. All good though, all good. It just meant that uh, my the break took a little bit longer than intended. Anyway, what did I miss? I saw you guys say something about a cool hybrid idea. Let me see. Feathered crocs. Oh, feathered crocodiles. Oh, that does sound like a badass dragon idea. You drew a fluffy crocodile for the hybrid point. Oh, that's such a good point. Yeah, the, the big cat cro cro crocodiles. That's a good point. Yeah, it was lucky it was during a break. Bless Kev, you're so apologetic. Like, I'm sorry to interrupt your stream. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. And uh, after we got it sorted, I just told him, by the way, I was in the middle of a break. <laughs> I thought I made him feel a lot better. So yes, all good in the end, all good. Right then. Let's get the rest of all this coloured in. So for people just tuning in now who like uh, weren't here just before the break, I'm colouring in all the scutes. I'm doing it like a very rough layer first because it's just quicker to block in the colour uh, the colours and then refine the outline afterwards. So we're just doing that quickly now. Kev is the best. I love Kev. He simultaneously takes my streams very seriously and not very seriously at all. <laughs> like, uh, he, like, for example, he doesn't want them to be interrupted. He won't want me to like take too many days off. He, you know, he wants to make sure I'm always streaming. I'm always here and around. But then during the stream, he'll happily troll me. He'll come over, he'll scream in the background, he'll alt F4 me, he'll tickle me. But as long as it's on stream, it's okay. <laughs> oh, bless him. I love it. And Backer Boy, thank you for the follow, by the way. Sorry I missed you just before the break there, but thank you and welcome. Let's see. I'm getting a bit of an annoying delay. I think it might be the lazy mouse. Oh, that fixed it. Yes. Yes. Better brushstrokes. Let me just adjust. There we go. Oh, there we go. That's so much better. No more like annoying circular delays. Like I think you guys saw it a lot earlier. It was like very splotchy. He has the right idea. Makes it entertaining content. True. True. Oh no, it's doing it again. No. Yeah. But better now. There we go. That's a lot better. Much more smoother. But yes, I agree. It <laughs> does make for entertaining content. Especially when you fuckers encourage him. Mate, I remember the sheer amount of times where, like, playing a game like uh, Getting Over It or uh, I Am Bread, and you guys telling Kev, tickle her, tickle her. Uh huh. I remember. <laughs> All in good fun, though. All in good fun. Right, I'm gonna do the side ones first, actually, because they're like two very distinct different shapes. So we'll do the outer scoots first. Ah, uh, to be fair, I think some of these I could just like do that. Hmm, I don't know. We'll see. <clears throat> true, Jenna, true. I mean, to be fair, yeah, I, I wouldn't I would not expect anything different. I wouldn't want anything different, to be honest. <laughs> Innocent my ass. <laughs> Your favorite one is Darren Kev. To, your favorite one is Darren Kev to add to everyone. Oh God. Yeah, that's always a trip, isn't it? It's a shame, really, because whenever like Kev added people, now I would be telling him to stop. I'd be asking him like profusely to stop. And obviously, you know, he's just having a laugh, which is why it's not like a big deal. But then you always get like those few people who are like just so grumpy and miserable, like yeah, you're ruining, yeah, you're trolling, corrupted mods. Yeah. Really takes away from the fun. Whenever he did do it though, it, it had been, uh, it was always like really funny. Right, that's one side one's done. 
Let me just do uh, the other side for the next. Actually, uh, yeah, we'll carry on doing this one. A plesiosaur with penguin coloration and feathers. Ooh, <gasps> Draki! Okay, no worries still, Draki, but welcome and thank you. Love you, Draki. Yeah, exactly, Myrtle. It's funny, isn't it? Like, exactly what you said there. Normally, people who are miserable are the ones who aren't even active in the first place. So, realistically, it's like, it, it doesn't it, like, it even really bother them. <laughs> I know, right, Jenna? God. So triggered. You posted your work on Clara's character in, in uh... Oh, God, what have you done? What have you done? Okay. <laughs> Just ominously stares at the viewer. That actually looks really good, by the way. It looks like a really crisp. <laughs> well done so far, Sai. Oh, whoops. Let me just do that again. <sighs> I got a question. How. Sai. Sai, Sai, Sai. I actually have a question now. How difficult was it to, one, get her character into Source Filmmaker, and two, to actually use it and animate it? It's probably like going to be all pre rigged, right? Because it's a small character, or a small creature, and they normally got all their um, rigs and shit. And Draki, I hope you're doing well. Yeah, you are good. Good, I'm glad. You're still learning as well? That's fair. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm wondering, like, it just dawned on me how complicated it's even used to in the first place, like, if it even is, because a lot of people use it, don't they? It's like a very commonly used um, software, I think. Or at least uh, not, not that you are, but at least among kids, I've noticed a lot of kids do tend to use it. Right, that is the block of all the scoots done. Finally, now I've got to refine them all. <laughs> but you can see how it's looking so far then. Well, exactly, Jenna, that's what I was just thinking because, you know, like, I've said it right, I've said it like a million times how one day I would like to get into animation, but I've had it like stuck in my head for the longest time that animation means I've got to rig, got to re, re topologize, got to like do it in Blender, for example. And I do plan on doing it. You know, I will still be doing that entire route. But it just dawned on me that with a program like Soul Filmmaker and how it's like a very commonly used thing, I could probably like, do something like just quicker and simpler, like just learn the basics. For example, learn natural animation movement, how to make a creature look alive, not rigid. And therefore, do something Jerry, Jerry related. It's been a simple file type conversion, all right? Tall and file fine to begin. Bones are proving problematic, but yeah, the model you've got, uh, the model you got has one pre-made. Damn. So aside from like the the expected, you know, stitching, stitching it all together and making it, um, what's the word? Making it compatible and functional. Otherwise, it sounds quite simple. I shall hydrate on my burning hot cup of tea. Ow. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you very much. Yeah, it definitely could be an idea to think about in the future. Like, I have this issue, right? Like, I'm, I'm sure we've all noticed it, right? I, have, I definitely have that issue where sometimes I will, like, tunnel vision one uh, methodology of doing something. So in the sense of animation, I've been tunnel visioning that I will only ever do it in Blender, 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 Blender. So I kind of forgot that Source Filmmaker exists, even though I see it mentioned quite often. I don't know, it's weird. 
psychological, blah, 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 you know. I like the song. I'm gonna. Uh... Oh, it's already liked. Okay, good. Hello, Purple Sheep Traveller. Welcome, mate. Welcome to the stream. Yeah, I have to admit, doing it this way, where I blocked out all the base colour, or, or the uh, the majority of the colours of the scoots, and then just outlining it, definitely has proven to be a lot faster, a lot simpler, as opposed to individually refining every scoot as you colour them in. I say refine, I guess def define is technically the correct word, but you know what I mean. <gasps> Oliver, hello! Hello, mate! Hey! Will you ever meow properly for the stream, or are you just gonna go meow every time? It's currently hanging out on Kev's side of the desk. <laughs> oh no, here he comes back. Here he comes back. That's my water. Get, get out of my water. It's my water. Hey, Oliver, it's my water. Go away. Stop. Just gonna put that over there instead. No, he's chasing it. Hello, mate. Hello. Oh, that's my tablet. What have you done? Get off. Hello. You really want that water? No, my water. Go away. How you doing, big boy? Okay, goodbye then. <laughs> See ya. <gasps> Jenna, do it! As long as you've got, you know, the time and energy for it, do it! Drawing's fun. Every time you have water, suddenly it becomes a, to a tower defense game. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> I wasn't expected to read that. Yeah, it does. To be fair, it does. He just, he just really wants my water. Now you see, I wouldn't mind sharing it, but I kind of don't really fancy drinking cat backwash. That sounds kind of gross to me. Or like have bits of cat fur in it. You know, not not really my thing. I just I just like you know good old regular clean water. <laughs> so unfortunately, he can't have it. You know, it's, this is not too much to ask for, really. <gasps> Do it, Jenna. Yes, Draki. Oh, Draki, no, actually. Uh, to be fair, he doesn't do that very often. But I think he's starting to associate. Like, I use a certain mug for um, tea and a certain mug for water. Just because I like the uh, the mass, the volume, the amount of uh, drinking in it. And I think it's starting to associate the non-tea mug of having water in it. So then he's trying to stick his, ha uh, stick his head in it. But normally he doesn't do that. He will, however, stick his head into any bag he can. Bags and boxes, all the time. She does it all the time. Oh, silly cheese. I'd say I'm about halfway through the scoots on the feet, and I got to do the ones on the arms. And then I can finally get to the fun stuff. Like right now, this is taking a long time because I gotta block out, you know, the entire shape. But as soon as I do this, I can auto apply a mask onto it, and then just like have fun to do all the other colours. Yeah, Saga. Oh, I could do now. I'm I'm very grateful that neither of my cats have tried to do that. It's like it's one of those things, isn't it? Right, where when a cat sticks their paw into a drink, like it's funny, it's cute, right? But I'm not. I'm I'm very used to having like grown up with um, pets that weren't very disciplined. It's like I love my family to bits, right? I love my family to absolute bits, but. 
disciplining pets were not really their strong point. So nowadays I get like very, say for example, you've got like a dog that's begging for food. That'll piss me off. I cannot stand begging dogs. So hence why I'm saying that I'm very grateful that my cats don't do the silly things like that. Because when it comes to animals and food, I get very angry with it. And yeah, I'm just glad that my two are quite good with it. Or saying that, so, so my two are good with them. My cats will not steal food. Uh, if it's like left out on the counter in the kitchen, obviously they will, but that's on our part. That's our fault if we do that. But um, the worst that I will ever attempt, and ever since I'm attempt here in, in regards that they won't do it very often, is that if Kev is having like a packet of crisps or a packet of chips, like let's say Doritos, Luna will jump to his side and like pat his legs and like beg for him, but, it, but she'll never get in the way though. She gets his attention, but never gets in his way. And even that to me is a bit much, to be honest, but I'm happy that, that is the worst of it. All my dog, uh, all my dog does is stare at me uh, when I have food, and I greatly prefer being stared at. Uh, he also sniffs around like of drop pieces. Yeah, uh, I remember when when I was still a kid. Oh god, when I was a kid. So we had like a bunch of Cocker Spaniels. We had uh, two of them at the time. And one of them was just... The older one was just very greedy, right? Just a big greedy fat dog. And the younger one... I swear to god, man, that younger one... I, I don't know if animals can have ADD, but I'm pretty sure he did. I'd never seen like such a boisterous, excitable, sometimes aggressive dog. Very ADD-like. And if you had if you had food, he'd nick it. Outright gone. Stolen. Not my idea of a dog. <laughs> uh, what should I draw? Oh, purple sheep. What should you draw? Hey, maybe a purple sheep. Now, uh, what kind of things are you into? Like maybe an animal? Or an object? I personally, if, if I don't know what to draw, I really like drawing hybrids. Like, so take like two animals I really like, such as say a tiger and a dragon. I find it really fun, the idea of like trying to combine different animals and just see what you get because it's still like really imaginative but you know you got like the base idea of what you want to include so stripes, wings but you don't know how it looks so you've still got the freedom to discover it. Uh Jenna, we told our uncle that one of our cats was sick is pouring his water. He let one of his cups out and watched him do it and said matter of factly, oh he does put his pour in water. <laughs> I love that. I like how he had to test it. Oh no, crazy was so. I bet you dog had a great time after that. Oh, Kitsune. See, I love that ride when, uh, when you see like the personality of the cat and they they can be cheeky like that. And peep and uh, purple sheep, enjoy yourself, mate. And thank you very much. Enjoy yourself and good luck with the drawing. Yeah, I do love it when you get to see like the, the cheeky, you know, opportunistic side of pets. It's like where you really see the personality coming. You think animals can have ADD? Huh. I wasn't sure if they could, yeah. I never really, to be fair, I never really thought about it. But like I said though, man, that one dog, I'm pretty sure he did. Oh yeah, barking. God, barking's another one. So I don't mind when a dog barks because it's, it's just in their nature, you know. You can't you can't really be angry at an animal for doing what the animal does, such as barking. But uh, oh no, this reminds me. This was both cute and annoying. So those same two cocker spaniels, my family had trained them to sing when you're singing happy birthday. Except it's not actually singing, it's just them, them barking like absolute crazy. So it's not like, you know, when you see like the, that gif of the husky that kind of like sings, I love you, you know, that way. It's not like that at all, they just bark. Just really, really rough, constant, loud barking. But it's the fact that they did it when it wasn't birthdays, like they would just do it all the time. They would get the dogs to just bark non-stop all the time. And it went from like a cute trick to just fucking annoying. <laughs> It's a shame though, because if it was something like howling or whining, not not actually whining, but like that that weird 
sound that dogs do. That would be really cute. But when it's just like incessant barking, ugh. Uh, ADHD in dogs is often referred to as hyperkinesis. Interesting. Uh, PTSD, I'm not surprised about. I would imagine. I, like, I might be wrong here. This is just interpretation. I could be entirely wrong. But I feel like that PTSD is as bad as it is. It's also like a bit of a survival mechanism. Because the trauma teaches the animal experience not to deal with that certain thing. I assume. I don't know. Um, that's just like a clever guess here. So I could definitely understand, or I could definitely believe animals having PTSD. But things like ADD though, I wasn't actually sure about. Aside, dogs and young children have long common, they're acceptable, exploratory, and can suffer from symptoms of ADHD, or the hyperactivity in dogs is technically known as hyperkinesis. Oh, interesting. I see. I see, I see. Oh no, Kitsune. Yeah. So like I said, that's a dog that I would struggle to have. Again, like I gotta emphasize, man. I don't I don't mind a dog being a dog. But I'm not a fan of the constant really loud dogs. I'm not a big fan of those. But that's because I was surrounded by them growing up. Never a big fan of it. I guess begging dogs, that's what I should say. Hello, Dino Pico. Welcome, mate. And, Mag, have a wonderful night. Take care of yourself. It's always lovely having you here. And thank you again for earlier, by the way. Thank you sincerely. Right, I'd say I'm about almost done refining the feet scoots. Took a while. Next, we've got to do the hands. In fact, let's just do that one there. Give it a nice sharp outline. That one down there. Oh, that's a bit too much. And there we go. Now they look nice and crisp. Oh, whoops. There we go. And if anyone's just tuning in now for the first time, uh, this is the current progress so far. Oh, one sec. There we go. <laughs> That's the current progress so far. I'm currently working on the teal scales and scoots of the arms and legs, uh, starting with a very dark colour so that I can light it up as time goes on. And yeah, really happy with it so far. Your dog only whines uh, if we make him sit for too long for food or hold his foot for too long. That's entirely fair. Like, that's reasonable, isn't it? Oh, Jenna. I'm sorry to hear that. Although, to be fair, though, it's good to know that the dog learned. But still, though, that's, that's awful that happened in the first place. Right. Time to tidy these ones up. Now, sadly, these ones are not symmetrical, so I've got to do this uh, do this twice on each arm. Or twice, one for each arm. But it shouldn't be, it shouldn't take as long as the feet, I hope. Oh no, Draki! <laughs> See, I wouldn't really mind that per se. Like, you can respect that. Although it'd probably be hard to live with, I don't actually know, but... <laughs> Draki, I don't think you've heard the pirate dubstep. Finally, Draki's here with the pirate dubstep on. Mate, it's your song. even called Seven Seas. Fire in the 
the hell? I do like the song. Like ever since you guys were really pointing it out, I do like the song more and more whenever uh, whenever I hear it. It's just because it's such a nice beat. Ah, oh, no, it's on Draki. Give me a second, just gonna adjust my chair while I read the chat. Uh, the moment when you need to husky proof the things because you have a very smart dog, go oh, true. Oh, Kitsune, that's good. That's very, very good to hear. And Jenna, that's absurd. I'm sorry you had to deal with that. Oh, poor cat. Oh, need to sneeze. Am I gonna sneeze this time or is it gonna leave me again? Nope, it left. Okay then. I, I've been getting this a few times today where I need to sneeze, like I feel that twinge, and it will just rapidly vanish. And it's, it's, it's just cruel. Like, nose. Why do you do this to me? Ah, Crazy Wizzo. Uh, feel free to ask. This is a commission requested by the Dragon Queen, who is no longer in the chat, <laughs> but this is for one of her characters. The illustration you see in the bottom right hand corner was drawn by Somi, another person in the community. And it's just simply her character. She just wants the artwork done. So this won't be used for animating or anything like that. This will just be used to create like a bunch of pretty pictures. Pretty pictures, excuse me, when it's done. But yeah, if you've got any questions, feel free to ask. Yes, Myrtle, I don't know feeling. I've been really meaning to redraw. Uh, you like go back and redraw some old artworks. Because it is really satisfying to like, just see like how far you've come along. And it's really good as well to be able to show other people like the before and after. How you've, <laughs> as you said, how you've ascended. And thank you, Crazy Wizard. I appreciate that. Thank you very much. I've been really enjoying this one. This has been by far the biggest commission I've done. So this one's like exceptionally just complex and thankfully so like i said this is not being used to animate and rig it means that i can get away with adding like a lot of um accessories and such and not worry about the physics so it's been very nice and chill just kind of spending a lot of my time just doing like all the little details all the textures having fun with it oh whoops just tidy that up there. Oh, that went a bit too far there, actually. Is Haz off? Ah, Haz, have a wonderful night, mate, and take care of yourself. I'll see you in a few hours. And yes, Saga, do it! And Cosme, good morning. Good time zone. Went a bit too far there. There we go. <laughs> no worries at all, Guy. I, I kind of assumed it was just like a random um, typo. <laughs> no worries. Oh, saying that. So, right. Typical boomer me, okay? I had no idea what this was. I finally learned the other day what it means when people post E. Because for the longest time, like, did you see, like, every now and then, especially on Discord, people would just randomly post E. I never understood it. I could not figure out the context or, like, the pattern behind it, like, why people did it. And I always thought it had to do with that weird Markiplier meme. But no. I finally, finally learned. It's what people say when I don't know what to say. And I thought that was really fucking stupid. <laughs> God, do I feel like a boomer. <laughs> It's literally, a, a, if a person randomly writes E in a chat, it's because they don't know what to say, but I want to write just for the sake of writing something. That is literally, that's, that's all it is. 
As you know, they just, you just have to be involved. It's a hand. And a, an RL shit. Yes, this is a hand. Here's the entire thing so far. I'm working on the scoots of the hand. I'm just trying to make them uh, nice and crisp so that way it's ready for a lot more texturing. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, Drackey. That's uh, what I thought it was. It's a Markiplier meme. So whenever I saw people randomly saying E, like that's that's what I was thinking. Like, why why are you referencing? Like, what am I missing? Because it made no sense. I just didn't know. It took me so long to figure out. Oh, whoops. Come on, switch. Uh, Gen Z dude here. I don't understand E either. I just laugh at it because I'm afraid of what will happen if I don't. Oh, to be fair though, the fact that you feel that way does actually suck. Like, I understand obviously, you know, you don't like make a fool like yourself, but it's a shame that that is how some people feel nowadays, that they have to, you know, they have to laugh along or they feel left out or something. Or feel like they'll be punished. Hmm. <sighs> it does suck that that's like the way a lot of people feel. Also, can I just say the amount of you guys who are saying that you didn't know either is making me feel so relieved. <laughs> because I see it a lot. I don't really see it much on our Discord server. But I have seen like certain individuals that will do it and they'll like they'll do it a lot. And it just always seemed weird. Like I never understood it. Whether it's like in the middle of a conversation or they just do it in the middle of like a, a silent channel for no apparent reason. I never got it. We all have big boomer brain. I'm glad I'm not alone. Thank you. Come to me, my boomer children. That sounds fucking weird. Is that something I don't have a bit of? Um, oh, Ruffle. Uh, Jenna, Ruffle is roll on the floor laughing. Which basically means LOL, right? I guess it's like uh, the lesser used version of LOL. It used to be really common like 10 years ago when, you know, basically when I was your age. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest. Not, not literally 10 years ago your age, but like um, when I was younger, it used to be like really common to say that alongside LMAO and LOL. Yeah, it's, it's older slang, yeah, which is why I still use it because that's what I always used when I was younger. The sooner, uh, hold on. Sooner not the chats at the news a random letter. Yeah, exactly. I always thought it was a little bit strange. I am really easy to make laugh because I find dumb things funny, but I won't laugh at things I don't find funny. It's nice to be genuine laughing. Yeah, Jackie, that just reminded me of something from yesterday. But yeah, exactly. Exactly, Jackie. I, I know what you mean by that and how you feel. This really ruffles my waffles. Oh, God. <laughs> Yeah. But yeah, so if you guys ever see someone say Ruffle, it's just like a different version of LOL. Literally basically the same thing. And I know it's a word I use a lot. You know, I was just about to say that I'm so nearly done with the scoots. I'm happy to nearly be done that I remembered I've got on the other hand to do left. Nearly done. Just got one and a half fingers and then an entire hand left. Urgh. Uh, this is the tedious part. Like, I don't mind this, right? I'm, I'm obviously just whining just for dramatic effect. But uh, this is like the tedious part of doing it. Then as soon as every outline is defined, I can then just take like 10 minutes and splurge colour onto it. You actually can't make... Uh, you actually can't fake smile. So if any of you ever meet me RL, you know I'm actually happy when I smile. If you fake smile, you like like the gear modes. That's honestly quite interesting. I didn't know that was a real thing. Like, I know it's a thing, right? I know that if someone's told to smile on command, then obviously, you know, that'll be awkward and they can't smile then. But I honestly thought that uh, people... That, they're, uh, that, that being unable to force a smile was a thing. I didn't know that. Interesting. Yes, Jackie, true. Yes, people in WoW say ruffle a lot. Actually, nowadays, so people people in WoW do say 
people in WoW do still say Ruffle, but it's also really common for people in WoW to talk in Twitch chat, as in like Twitch chat language. So like PogChamp, Among Us, or the other like kind of different ones. <laughs> like WoW has just become Twitch. Oh, that went a bit too far. <laughs> Yo, Pog! <laughs> Indeed. Pog, bruh. Me too, Jenna. Yeah, I tend to... I think, like, my resting face... Uh, my resting face isn't a smile, but it's not, like, far off. I think, anyway. I don't know. I hope so. If I've got a resting bitch face, that's gonna suck. That's not very pog champ of you, wow, give a chat. <laughs> that's not very pog champ of you. Oh my god. Let's just say, right, there's a reason why I have to hide the uh, chat whenever I play WoW. <laughs> it's not exactly the safest for stream, which is ironic considering it's Twitch chat speak. But it's not safe for Twitch. And one more finger. One more scoot, and that is this hand. I think it's hanging. Did I do the thumb? I did do the thumb. Right, that is one hand done. Now for the other one. And then we are done with the scoots, the scooting of the outlines. All right, Jackie, enjoy yourself then. And I'll see. Oh, excuse me. I'll see you in a bit. I'm going my tea actually. Good cup of tea. Very good. What if I see myself in the mirror? I reflexively make a bunch of funny faces. I'll be in a store and pass by a mirror and then it's pose time. <laughs> Honestly, Cosme, good for you. Good for you, dude. There's so many people out there who are afraid to see their own reflections. And the fact that you can do that in public, that's awesome. I'd say be proud of that, to be honest. <gasps> Oliver, hello. Oh, cat, that's my water. Get away from my water. That's my tablet. Oh, don't, uh, what you do? There we go, that's my water. You know what, you know what I think, guys? You know what I think? I think. I think someone is out of my range to be picked up. Never mind. <laughs> I was gonna go uh, picking up, uh, pick him up and grab him, but he's out of my range now. It's water defense time. <laughs> oh, Oliver. Um, I'm finally glad that the. Hold on. Oh wait, hold on. The oh hello, Oliver. Okay, it's gone now. The scalpers, is the law actually working into it now? That is a very poorly worded question. Um, is the government or whatever, like legally, finally looking into the whole scalping thing? I bloody hope so. But I agree, it's ridiculous. They are thank God. Good, because I don't know what it is, man. I just suddenly recently it's just been out of control, hasn't it? So I think like people like still now, like months and months later, people still can't get the new GPUs or the PS5. It's absurd. Well, I'm glad to hear that they're having a legal look into it, according to what you've heard on the news. Oh god, I hope that's true. It's just such a scummy practice. He made a trill sound. <laughs> oh, Oliver trills all the time. Normally he's quite quiet, but he does uh, do like the trill sound quite often. He's a cute little wanker, that cat. 
every everyone decided to try to rip everyone off during the soft apocalypse like a bunch of pricks and they decided it was fun to keep going is is that actually what happened i guess oh no that makes sense actually because people obviously tried it with the whole um toilet paper scenario didn't they where people are like, buying it out just to resell to others masks too man people are scum oh well like i said glad it's being looked into legally Hello, oh, Lamoon. Welcome, mate. <gasps> Oliver! Oh, Jesus Christ, that was sudden. I was meant to do like a little like <gasps> gasp, you know, like excited one. Then he just launched himself at me. And it kind of scared me midway, like mid gasp. I got scared. <laughs> uh, Oliver, can I help you, mate? Okay, you know what, guys? I think he does need attention. Oh. No, now he's settling down. Okay, I'm not going to bother him if he's settling down. Wow, this is... unusual. Hold on. He's actually chilling next to me, not on me. So, for like any of the new people. This wonderful cat, Oliver. It's, it's an absolute little sweetie. It's a little shit. <laughs> he, he loves jumping on a tablet. Or what he often does, right, is that Oliver will often try and squeeze in like any gap around the tablet. That normally ends up being my mouse and keyboard. He's just a happy little cat. He just wants to be close by, right? But he, he, he does a bit too much sometimes. This time, he's just next to me. Not not on my stuff, but next to me. This is unusual. If I touch him, though, I'll ruin it. So I, I need to ignore him. But I'm surprised. Luna? Where is Luna? Okay, I don't want to move too much. I don't want to startle Oliver, right? Because he's actually chilling. But I assume Luna's in the hallway sunbathing like she normally is. Luna really likes the uh, hallway. Because she can see me in the hallway without <laughs> without being near me. <laughs> My cat's a weird little stalkers, man. They just love like being within range of us. You're still chasing a new Xbox. People on eBay are dub Wait, hold on. People on eBay are doubling the price on them. When did the new Xbox come out? That was quite a while ago now, wasn't it? <sighs> God damn. Well, mate, I really hope that you're able to get your hands on like a legitimate one. Leg legitimately priced, that is. November. Bloody hell. Yeah, like I said. I really hope you're able to get your hands on one and properly, you know, safely without being scammed into, uh, into doubling your price. <gasps> He's actually going to sleep. Who are you? What have you done with my cat? Loves being arranged within range of us is a perfectly, it's a perfect description of a cat. <laughs> Uh, oh, it calls me. That's sweet. Uh, she's the sweetest, most adorable cat you've ever had. Oh, it's funny actually. So Luna, well, when we first got Luna, right, as a kitten, she was an absolute little angel. But sometime after we got Oliver, so like a, a decent amount of time after we got Oliver, Luna just went like straight bitch mode. Like she turned into a horrible cat for a while. Uh, to put it in perspective, she's about seven, eight years old now. That's about eight years old. And at one point, she was just horrible for a couple of years and uh, very nearly went feral, actually. Like hiding in corners, avoiding us, uh, hitting at Kev a lot. And sometimes even hissed at me, which is very unusual because the cats are very golden around me. Luna used to hate Kev. So when she hissed at me, that was when things got like really serious. But then, abruptly, about a year, I'd say like maybe a year, maybe two years ago now, she just changed. Just back to her kitten self. She just got back to being like super affectionate, super kind again. Uh, I did ask Glass about it because Glass uh, is Glass works at a pet shop, so she you know has a lot of experience with pets and animals, especially like other people's pets. And she explained that some animals or some cats do have like their terrible twos and terrible threes, and sometimes it can just last longer than usual, where they'll just be like horrible for a while. So 
So I reckon, so we reckon that's what it was, that Luna just had like a really bad, terrible two stage. Yeah, like her edgy teenager phase, but really badly. She was not previously a feral cat. We had her um, as a kitten from one of Kev's mum's friends who their cat just had a litter. And yeah, she just changed and then changed again. It was definitely weird, but like she is super affectionate now. She's an absolute sweetie, that cat. And upon being more friendly, she's also more willing to play with Oliver, which is nice. Hello, Ender Spider. Welcome. Yeah, definitely whack. It was really strange. I'm glad though. I'm glad she's good now. The pair of them are uh, the pair of them are extremely sweet. In fact, it's quite funny actually because Luna does hiss at Oliver a lot, but it's like the most half-assed hiss. And they'll play together all the time, and she'll chase him, and I don't know, man. <laughs> Strange cats, but they get along though. Oliver's merely lulling you into a false sense of security, then power stream is taken down. Right. Maver, true. So Oliver has turned the stream off multiple times in the past using my stream deck. Like it'll hit hit the button and it will just turn off. So I've recently gotten to the habit where um, I can have like multiple pages on the stream deck. Imagine when you're looking at your phone, you've got like your library of apps open, you just turn to a different page. That's essentially what I do in my stream deck. I'm on a different page of uh, buttons, and so he can't turn the stream off. <laughs> because God, did he do it a few times for a while. <laughs> and it was not good. Hello, mate. Little scratchy head. There you go. Just a little bit of fuss. Cats are pretty diverse in personality. They are, aren't they? It's funny because growing up, I was always a dog person. Still am now, to be fair. I still really want a dog now. But I've always been like much more of a dog person. I used to just really not like cats for the longest time. Oh, Oliver. You alright, mate? Okay, something spooked him. I think it's okay though. You yeah, mate? Yeah, you're okay. I was just gonna say, yeah, I used to be a dog person for the longest time. Uh, we got Luna because when I first moved in here with Kev, and Kev was always out at work, I was very lonely. You know, just at the house all day by myself was weird and I wasn't used to it. So we got Luna. And God, did that teach me a lot about how cats actually have personalities. <laughs> Definitely came to appreciate them a lot more ever since. And Jackson, lovely to see you, mate. Welcome. And also, chat guy, thank you for the follow. And Erelsh, if I didn't say already, thank you also for the follow. I think I said thank you, but I can't remember. So thank you again. Your cats love hate each other. They definitely like to play, but also smack each other randomly. Yep, same. <laughs> so definitely a love-hate relationship with them too. Thankfully, no fighting. Uh, they never fight, which I'm very happy about. Yeah, exactly, Jackie, exactly. That's definitely how it's been for me, is that, like, growing up, because we can't have dogs in this house, so that's why we don't already have one, because we actually can't have one in this house. But having a cat has definitely, you know, got me to appreciate them a lot more. All the silly little uh, personalities, the little habits that they have. Good morning, Vinash. Cats really have a little personality. They could be lazy or chill, or they could be looking to cause trouble. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> I still can't believe that tomorrow it'll be a year that City joined. Really, Jackson? Oh, mate. Has it really only been a year? Oh wow. Well first of all, it's cool that you remember. So I see so many people say like how they missed their anniversary. It's cool that you remember your anniversary, but has it only been a year? That's insane. It feels like you've been here for two like I'd say two years. <laughs> then again, I feel that way uh, I feel that way with quite a few people nowadays. Like uh, Guy, for example. I know Guy. 
is someone that's been in the community for a long time, but as he says himself, he's been uh, more chatty as of 2020. But like, he's another person who I feel like has just been here for like much longer than that. Like, here, here, if you get what I'm saying. It does, isn't it, Myrtle? I'd say it definitely feels like Jax has been here for more like two years. It's cool. What brag? Long time no see, mate. Good morning. <laughs> Myrtle, that's honestly extremely accurate. And Jackson, that's entirely fair. But I'm glad to be honest, I'm glad. And yeah, see, Gee, exactly, that's what I was saying, is that, so you've been here since June 2018, but I know that you've said about how you've only been talking, like, fairly recently. But if, even, like, it's kind of weird to words, it feels like you've been this active for over a year. I don't know, man, time's weird. T time is a lie. Somi is special. To be fair, Draki as well, like, Draki is the same case as Somi. Just, you know, with less insanity, more wholesome. Uh, but it was the same for Jackie as well when she first joined, where she just immediately just fit in. I just realised something. Hey, Myrtle, you just... <laughs> you gave me a funny uh, realisation. So, Sumi, when Sumi first joined, she... Was insanity incarnate, but the more we get to know her, the more wholesome she is. Whereas when Draki first joined, she was wholesome incarnate, but the more we get to know Draki, the more insane we realise she is. <laughs> kind of crazy when you think about it. I am nearly done with outlining the scoots. Nearly, nearly done. Not gonna lie, this took a lot longer than I expected. But I mean, that is the process though, isn't it? Like when you gotta do like a sharp, crisp outline all over the place on so many different scales. I mean, it's kind of inevitable. Oh, but I finally outlined all the scoots uh, nice and clean and pretty and... Oh, now I can finally save that. Give my hand a break for a second and then actually colour it in properly. That's entirely fair, Myrtle. Yeah, I think a lot of people have had that feeling. Which is not a bad thing. It's not a bad thing. If anything... Let me give me a sec. Just stretch. And finish my tea. Hold that thought. Right. So I was just gonna say then. So Myrtle, you remember being awkward, and uh, you remember being awkward when you first joined because you was an edgy meme lord. Uh, that makes me think about, right, how with you guys, so you've got a couple of people in the chat, right, who, when they first joined, were, like, kind of edgy and a little bit try-hard. And that's fair, that's understandable, it's obviously, you know, that's okay. But it's interesting to think, right, how for those of you guys who, like, might be embarrassed over the fact that you used to be that way, there's also the people who never bothered to change and just kind of fuck themselves out of a community. Not to say that, oh, you know, they missed out. I don't mean it that way, right? But it's... Good to be able to reflect on the fact that you guys have the ability to notice it in yourself and to adjust. It's good. It's, it's a trait that a lot of people kind of lack nowadays is um, that kind of self-reflection. That's something on the floor there. Rag, thank you very much, mate. Thank you. I think my horse and meter and my battery meter stay pretty much intact the longer you guys get to know me. <laughs> That's fair. Hello, Crazy Goomas. Welcome as well. And Mindwolf, love to see you. 
My birthday, uh, June 20. Close, very, very close. June 20, so it's gonna be... Oh, my birthday's getting close. Wait, how long is my birthday? We're in April now, May, June. Oh, it's getting close. Interesting. I honestly forgot. And cost me. To be fair, mate, the fact that you like tried to hide it, like, it's a common thing that a lot of people do, right? Is uh, faking confidence. I did it for a long time. I faked confidence where I was trying to hide how shy and, you know, scared I was. And after a while, it just kicks in and you become confident or comfortable. I mean, I guess vice versa, in it. So, it's definitely good practice. <laughs> Mine wolf. You joined a month and two days after your birthday? Ah. You're most worried about your art because everyone looked like they were doing incredibly well and they were utter professionals. And I was like, lying colour done. I mean... Hmm. I see what you're saying, Cosme, but at the same time, though, I think it's just, it comes down to, you know, you are your own worst judge. It's easy to reflect, or it's easy to compare your entire journey against the end process that other people do. It's why I like sharing my process, because it goes to show, like, how much is put in, as opposed to, here's a finished image, there you go, job done. And no one knows, like, the hardship behind it. That sounds dramatic. But you get what I'm saying, though. It's very easy to compare you know, your trepidations with other people's surfaces and what they choose to display. I guess you can say the same about um, personalities as well as art. Right. It is time to do the things and my PC is lagging. <laughs> oh dear God. Right, actually, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to take a moment to optimize this. Let's go ahead and save it. And let's save new when it's saved. There we go. So, what's the new version going to be called? April. I'm sure you call it April. I've kind of given up the names by now. I will rename the final one to something proper. Uh, what I'm going to do then is because uh, a big contribution to the lag and the file size is a sheer amount of um, undoes. Or the, the um, what do you call it? The undo history. How big is this model file so far? This iteration? 790 megabytes. It's actually really not bad. Uh, let me see then. So for the head, let's just like go over every layer then quickly. So for the body, let's just go to document and... That's not the one, is it? Is that, is that the one? Depth history. I don't think that's the one. Draw. There we go. Delete, delete, um, undo history. I'm only doing this because I'm confident with it. There we go. And it just means they will purge out like a lot of the unnecessary file size. And hopefully better performance. Let's see. Edit. Okay, that one has no file history, so we'll go to the head then. We've got the eyes, so undo or delete undo. Delete undo, edit, delete undo, and teeth. I'm obviously not done the teeth yet. Oh, I'll do the teeth actually. What else? That one. The feathers. Uh, not done the sash yet. Feathers, the tail feathers. We'll go ahead and do that. And there we go then. Being able to see the flaws in your art is a lot better than thinking it's perfect. One will make you want to keep improving, while the other makes you complacent with where you are. I completely agree. However, that being said, though, it's also there's also nothing wrong with taking pride in your work. It's just... <sighs> Never feel ashamed for taking pride of your work, but always be open to the possibility that there's more that you can do. Personally, I love learning. I absolutely adore learning. So for me, I'm like always like, trying out new things. That's so what I love about digital art is that you can just, you know, save a backup and you go again. Oh, uh, Gabby, 
You wonder how much space Eve history was taking up? Well, let's just say there's a reason why I have ZBrush on a separate drive. <laughs> let's uh, let's just try something actually, just before we do anything more. Give me one second, guys. Give me one one second. Let's open up tree sites. And let's just run as admin. I'm still here, don't worry. I'm just in case anything uh, sensitive appears. Let's scan, or say directly I want to scan then. My ZBrush is on my H drive. Let's scan. Where is it? That one. Oh, no, go away. Cancel. Okay, that did not do what I expected it to do. Bugger. Bad example. Oh no, wait, here we go, actually. So it might be a little bit hard for you to see, depending on like what quality you're looking in, but basically this is a breakdown of uh, my H drive. Now, see here, let's take, let's take commissions as an example. This folder is all my commissions, and that includes like all of the uh, different project files and project sizes and whatever. 74 gigabytes. ZBrush quick save, 88 gigabytes. <laughs> um, my entire ZBrush folder where I keep everything is 188 gigabytes. So my quick saves alone is already nearly half that size. <laughs> ZBrush quick saving is fantastic. It's the best crash recovery I've ever seen. It's really, really, really good. And this is why, because it saves so much and so frequently. Every like this is why I've got ZBrush on a different drive. It's because I've had multiple occurrences where it bloat and bloat and bloat and just wreck my um, hard drive. It's a third of your computer RAM. Yeah, it's a lot, isn't it? <laughs> Hold on, adjusting my chair. So yeah, it's good to uh, purge the unnecessary files every now and then. Right. So I wanted a hands on the feet first. Let's do let's do the feet. And let's just do that. There we go. Right, for this, I want to get an auto mask. And how do that again? I think it's polypaint. Yes. Adjust colours. And I want to mask that. There we go. I thought that'd be about right. So go ahead and mask all that. Okay. And if that works properly, it means I can draw over it, right? No. That did nothing. <laughs> oh, I did it in reverse. That's why. That makes sense. There we go. Okay, yeah, I just did it in reverse. So this is um, what's really nice about the fact that I spent all that time making like all the crisp outlines that now I can just do this. I just automatically masked everything and God, does that make a life a big difference. You're so, you're so scared that you delete that? Oh, do you mean, um, are you in the files? Oh, Draki, that's adorable. Although I'm sorry to hear that, you know, you had that issue drawing for a while. Oh, but that's really sweet, though. Oh, look at that for a texture. Hold on. Let's get, like, a different pattern. Let's say... What do I want to use for this? That? Russian dubstep? I don't actually know. I can see the resemblance though. <laughs> Let's see, and I just want to get like a bit of a darker color there for the... 
Oh, I saw it done. Oh, that's a bit of a mistake, but that kind of works out though, actually. For this, I want to have some splatter everywhere. We'll make like a really nice dark. Maybe what if I make like a bit of a red? Oh, with lazy mouse on. The song's currently playing now is literally just a discount version of the song Mos Moscow. Literally the same melody with a couple of notes removed. Really? <laughs> Fair enough. You know what? I can't say I'm even surprised. It is royalty free music after all, and I suppose it's probably like under, um, uh, what's it called? Fair use? Fair use rules? Where they change it like just enough? <laughs> I can't say I'm surprised. Right, let's just quickly do that same technique on the arms. I want it to be very consistent, you see. So I want to like keep on doing the same technique on both places. So we'll just do the same thing again over here. The Pirates dubstep is also a remix of He's a Pirate. Is it actually? Oh, wow. Hello, Bits Ragnus. Welcome, mate. I can do hair on the leg. Uh, this doesn't actually have much hair. Well, it's got feathers, actually. But I've already done the feathers on the leg. Oh, <laughs> it calls me. Oh, what the hell happened there? Oh. Uh, okay. That's a bit... Dodgy. Let's just quickly mask it again. Can I still do it properly? Yeah, I can. Okay, good. That was a bit of a weird thing there. Indeed. Kane's too powerful. Oh no, I don't know how to animate, unfortunately. It's something I would like to learn in the future, like 100%. But nah, at the moment, I do not know how to animate. One day though. So like right now, all I really do is just models just for the looks. They just look pretty. I have had some commissions though where people have uh, then, then rigged the models for animation later. But none that I've done myself. In the future though. It is a goal of mine. Oh, whoops. Let me just do that. Oliver, hello. <laughs> Right, one thing I want to do as well actually is grab that and I would like to just like add a bit of dirt all around the hands. Because right now, right, I find that, uh, so I do like the contrast and I know that Queen likes the contrast, but that to me is just like a bit too strong. How the scales here are like really clean, but the till here is like just incredibly dark. So what I want to do is just like add just a bit of that. I think that just makes like a really nice subtle difference. Just muddy up a little bit, make it uh, flow together a bit nicer. Did Ollie just send? Did Ollie just bend a piece of metal or something? He may have uh, smacked the microphone. Oh, was it like a really loud sound? Sorry about that, guys. Yeah, he just hit the uh, microphone stand. He likes to headbutt it. I guess it's a way of saying hi to all of you. Can I help you, Oliver? Oh, you're getting into your in, in the way spot now, aren't you? Oh, yep, yep, he's getting in the way. The paws are coming out, and these are my tablet and keyboard. 
Oliver. You see, Oliver, this is why we can't have nice things. I know, mate. He's looking at me with like half closed eyes, like squinting at me. Yep, yeah, he's probably hungry. It's oh, it's quarter to six. Yeah, he's probably hungry. I uh, I do need to leave soon then. I don't want to, but I do have a raid tonight, so I've got to leave uh, on time today. In about fifteen minutes. And foxed foxed up designs, a great name. Thank you for the follow. Welcome. Yeah, he's probably just hungry. It'd be that time. And lazy draw stuff. Thank you for the follow as well. Ah, welcome to both of you. Okay, he's buggering off now. Goodbye, Oliver. See you in another five minutes. You know, you know that cat will be back. <laughs> right, add a bit of dirt all over the place. Nice and rough. And Z-Man, welcome. Thank you very much, Draki. Let's see then. See, like I mentioned earlier, how the contrast between the till and the uh, light till just looked a bit too much to me earlier. Now it just kind of flows together a bit nicer. But the contrast between the blue and till is intended though. Like as you can see in a reference image, that just is the way it is. Thank you, Myrtle and Ghost. Thank you, all of you. Oliver makes his own sport creations, but humans are the ones he excels at. Oh god. Mate, making uh, making humans and spores was just really hard. <laughs> be, I mean, obviously, like, theoretically, it's just a cat, but it'd be funny if that was the thing you was good at. And Adrian, I shall, thank you. Why'd I have to tell her to feed me every darn day? <laughs> well, the little shit keeps trying to get fed early. Actually, this now, though, at quarter to six, is probably one of the better times for him. I normally feed him at six. But, uh... But yeah, he's, he's being better today. Sometimes he'll beg me to feed him as early as four or three. Little shit. And I go in there and I look at his bowl and he's still got food in there. Funny little thing. Let's see then. Let's get like a nice lighter shade. We'll do like a positive cavity of plus 10. Oh good Myrtle, I hope you enjoy yourself. So you now, regarding the wild stream, so I forgot to stream last week because I got like super carried away and just on autopilot. I would like to stream today's raid. Obviously, I'll take a, a break between like this and the raid, get some like food and such. But uh, if people want to want to see it, I and if I remember, I'll go stream it. For those who are new, it, it's not exactly the most social thing. <laughs> most of the time, it's just music and chilling. But uh, some people want to watch it. You know, I am really happy I finally have time to work on this again. I remember when um, when I finally finished the modeling side of Kane, this character, I was so excited to the texture, but then I kind of couldn't for a while because things came up between Queen and I. Um, and I'm just really happy to like, finally spend all this time, like really focus on it again. I don't know, Queen's loving the pro process as well. She's not here at the moment, but I know like, she's really happy with it thus far. Let's see, I want to get like a very dark colour. Oh, whoops. Let's get rid of that. Not that. <laughs> no worries at all, Jackie. I, I understand. No, you're adorable. Oh, oh, that's effective. Right, so what I'm doing here then is just like a, a bit of full shadowing. Because right now, even though when I shadow in like with renders and um, natural shadows, it's just it's gonna define the individual uh, the individual toes. But right now, it does still like a look like a bit of a mess. 
So in scenarios like this, I do prefer adding full shadow. Although that is really harsh. Let's just do like 20%. There you go. I prefer doing this because I find it just makes it pop out more in the final thing. And we'll just remove cavity mask there and we'll just go ahead and go in again. Make that really small. And I will be doing the same thing again when I put the claws in place, where I'll like have a bit of a shadow there. That's a bad angle. There we go. Oh, whoops. That's too much. Uh, that's weird. There's no pressure. Right, I should get a bit of dark all the way around there in between the toesies. Did Oliver turn the calibration off? I think he might have done, actually. It's fine, though. Like, normally just a reboot is always required to fix it. But since I'm, like, very nearly done, I'm kind of coming bothered to reboot. <laughs> Which I know is a little bit lazy. But uh, it should be, like, a really easy fix, though. And then let's just do, like, a much... Larger, blurrier one, but much lower intensity. Just so I can do that. Same thing down here. And you can see now how the individual toes are like really defined. Also, should do like a bit of a layer on the bottom of the feet. Wow, that is really intense. This is, yeah, something's definitely gone a bit funny with the uh, intensity here. Oh well, like I said, a reboot normally, normally fixes it. Perfect. Cool, yeah, I'm happy with that. Uh, the hands, I I will actually do the same thing on the hands because like all the little bits around here as well. Just around here, I'd want to be a bit darker too. If it'll let me. Hello? Wrong colour, that's why. Hello small Krishka, excuse me, welcome. I do not animate actually. Uh, I just don't know how, I would like to do that in the future. But in regards to my models, I basically just make, you know, like really pretty 3D images, essentially. You can animate ZBrush models. It's just that I personally don't know how yet. But it's certainly possible if it's something that you're looking into doing yourself. But because uh, this is not going to be animated, as you can see, it means that I can get away with the posing, I can get away with adding a cat, uh, much more detail, much more small little pieces like all the feathers here. You wouldn't normally do that for animating a model because it would be too high poly, but since I'm not animating this, it gives me like creative liberties. Will it have toe beans? Uh, oh, actually, I don't think it will, although that's a really cute idea. Having little toe beans. But yeah, welcome to the stream. I think as soon as I get through my queue, so I do like have a bit of a commission queue at the moment, as well as a few promises. In the future, when I get through that, I do want to like put some serious time into learning the whole, you know, rigmarole for 
animating and rigging things because I know it's like quite a it's quite a process. <laughs> That's entirely fair. Yeah, I know that drawing can be like whether it's two D or three D or just whatever. It can be like very intimidating at the beginning, but as long as you enjoy yourself and you know have fun, experiment, try new things, it's good. We we'll definitely get a hang of it. I think I've been doing 3D only for about four years now. I started uh, 3D four years ago. And, mate, I, I just fell in love with it. I absolutely fell in love with it. I started in Sculptress, which is a free software. Ah, keep spinning. Sorry. I don't mean to spin so much. There we go, then. Oh, whoops. There we go. Right then. Do you think that you've ever... Uh, did you think you'd ever get into 3D sculpting? No. Get away from my water! Come on, Oliver. Yeah, okay, he's gone now. He really wants my water. Uh, as I was going to say, no. Uh, when... The first several times I saw like 3D models and 3D artwork, I did not think I'd ever be good enough for it. But you know, it's a bit of a silly attitude, right? You don't think you'd be good enough, but that's how I felt though. I always thought it was like too complicated, um, just, just generally too much for me. But then I had people recommend me Sculptress. Because Blender, like Blender for example, I just found out really hard to learn the UI back before the big changes. But Sculptress on the other hand, because it was less geometry, more sculpting, I just jumped into it immediately and I, it just felt really nice, really natural. That's when I then heard about ZBrush. And I, I remember, I remember vividly, I just watched so many speed sculpts, so, so many videos of people just making things in ZBrush. And I thought a lot of it looked like magic, especially Dynamesh. And yeah, just over the course of time, just been able to get into it. So I had the opportunity to, to own it, <laughs> thanks to people like PewDiePie and Dakoon Reach. And yeah, just, it's great, man. I'm very, very grateful. I only ever first... Oh, that's Kev. Kev's home. I was just going to say, I, I only ever first uh, got into 3D because on people on YouTube kept telling me that I should, that, you know, I should give it a go. And I'm very, very, very grateful. I really am. But, it is six o'clock. I do have a raid to do. Kev's just come home. Hi, Kev. Hi. So, I'm definitely going to be heading off now then. Oh no, Shamisa, I'm sorry. <laughs> Long time no see. Love to see you again. Although really bad timing. I apologise. And Ale. Sorry, you too. But I, it's now time to head off, I'm afraid. I will be back on tomorrow. Um, I was going to do sport tomorrow, but I kind of want to do more of this as well. I'm not sure. It's the end. Yes, I'm sorry. That's really, really unfortunate timing. I'm sorry. Hello. You're right. Yeah. But I was just going to say, yeah, so I'll be back on tomorrow, whether I do um, Spore or ZBrush. I'll be back on tomorrow doing more creative things. If anyone wants to join the Discord server, it's there. And Twitter. Ale. Perfect timing. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> and I've, I hope you had a fantastic day. Thank you very much to the company and for all the subs earlier. And yeah, it was really nice hanging out. Thank you guys very, very much. I'll see you on Discord in a bit. Take care.